Uh, welcome to second session of uh, Shadowrun 2055, the Denver, the city of shadows. And uh, yeah, say hi guys. Hello. Hello. Greetings. Okay, I have a little bit of a technical difficulty where I can't hear Chewie, but I know that he's saying something. One second. All right. Uh, can you say something now, Chewie? If you pass. Yep, now I can hear you. All right. So, it's the 20... 26th. It's the 26th of May. And uh, let me just make a, do a quick reminder of what happened on the previous sessions. On session, session zero, uh, the party has rescued a couple of kidnapped uh, townies living in the best western, kidnapped by the Trey 8 gangs. And uh, unfortunately, a couple of gangers died in the process, <coughs> killed by a mysterious car bomb in a giant attack of a drone. Yes, a giant attack of a drone. Check out the recording from previous session if you want. If you want to know exactly what happened then. And afterwards, uh, many things happened. They had an expedition uh, into the underground of Denver, in, Den in search of materials uh, for magical formulas. There was an investigation going on, and eventually, after a bit of haggling, the party have been hired by Amishtur to uh, prove to the Cutters uh, leader, Logan, that the entire shebang was not caused by the Bibi's gang led by Amy, but it was in fact the work of a mysterious vigilante, uh, the puppeteer. And... Uh, the, the tomorrow and the rest of the gang uh, tried to find as the best as they could and they discovered many things they discovered that uh, the driver of the mysterious exploding exploding truck was in fact uh, at least doing something with one of the kidnapped townies lennox and they discovered an abandoned church uh, which uh, apparently hid uh, the hideout of the puppeteer which was going to be the topic of today's session, but they went ahead and blew it all up. Uh, it's all in the writing on our Discord channel, and you can check it out. And uh, by following clues, they discovered what seems to be the real hideout of the puppeteer. So, uh, it's a nice little sunny evening of uh, May 26th, 2055. The group gathers up in tomorrow's apartment, I assume, like usual. And uh, take it away, guys. We can uh, st we can start with Alan uh, describing himself and the rest of the guys describing themselves to Alan, so that because you see yourselves in voice for the first time, and you can go ahead and start the conversation to determine what is it that you're doing. How about it, guys? All right. So. Go. Go Alan, on. Alan, I'm assuming, what just knocks on tomorrow's door and is as usual, let in. He's always welcome. Uh, yeah. Uh, he is a human. He's shorter. He's, he's pretty short, actually. He's... His hair is brown, but it's got these... It's got white streaks in it. Or gray streaks, I should say. And he tends to just wear a nice shirt, decent pants, and a... That's all I gotta say. Uh, well, tomorrow is a about 20-something-year-old elven chick with bright blue hair that look exactly as if, as if she just went out from a hairdresser salon for some reason. And her flat is just probably one of the nicest places in the whole building, all warm and everybody feels welcome if they manage to find some place for themselves because there's literally like three bin packs to sit on. Chewie walks in and you know kind of uh, 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 sticks his head in, makes it, uh, makes the open eyes. You know, hey guys, you uh, what's going on? Uh, Chewie's a, uh, a six foot uh, three uh, inch tall orc. Uh, uh, 
moderately stacked, very handsome, uh, straight teeth, good looking dude. Uh, in, in his hands, he's got a uh, uh, a container of warm food, uh, uh, of scrambled eggs and cheese. And in, uh, in the other hand, he's got a, uh, a six pack of soda. And he proceeds to make his way towards the, the kitchen area of the, of the flat. The, so yeah, taco, uh, taco, taco, <laughs> taco will, will knock on the door. Um, he's wearing a t-shirt, uh, a dress shirt over it, um, jeans. Uh, he's a, a fairly young looking orc, but he's covered in motor oil. Um, um, what else? He's covered in motor oil. He has like a... A tool belt pouch thing where he has like a bunch of wrenches and hammers and stuff. Um, is car- he's dragging behind him his precious acetylene torch. Um, oxygen tanks are not cheap in the warrens. He doesn't want anyone stealing his acetylene. Okay, Mark, can you hear us? Yep, sorry, just a little distracted when I miss. Oh, okay, okay. You missed nothing. I was just wondering what's up because tomorrow was asking if can you hear us and you can't, so it's okay. So, yeah, it's your turn. Perfect. Uh, he'll walk in, same as everyone else, head to the um, beanbag chair that he usually sits on, because why not? Uh, he's a little short for an elf, a ruggedly handsome, uh, piercing green eyes, and a friendly smile. Not too much else about him. Alright, so, uh, you guys arrived to decide what to do, your uh, investigation can proceed from the moment you finished it in, uh, in the writing on Discord. Well, we've so... got the building now. Go for it. After you, sir. All right. Well, we have the building nailed down, um, but it's a fortress, right? So anybody have any ideas about do do we want to just try and get in contact with him? Like have a spirit stick a post-it note on his door saying we want to talk. Here's I mean, it is an option. I mean, Um, if he's willing to talk, sure. Where did you get those information about Lennox? Oh, uh, I, I talked to one of our friends over at the, um, the, the jammers. Yeah. The guy, the guy who, who you talked with his name was, uh, Steer. Thank you. Yes. Steer. Steer. Um, uh, yeah, he was quite handy. Uh, we had an interesting conversation. I, I was kind of confused for a second, uh, while I, I was talking to him. I thought, um, anyway, but yes, he, he was quite helpful. He said that uh, uh, Lenny uh, uh, was talking to the orc that we were looking for, and uh, that he's he's down in uh, uh, Azzy Town for for a while. Uh, be back in a couple of days, and you know, that uh, left me uh, kind of wondering, you know, if I needed to sort our friend out. So, who was that guy that he was with? I didn't actually find out. Oh. Uh, he, but he he's been around a little bit, um, but Lenny's been t- uh, talking some some mess about uh, uh, messing around with the power structure around here. And that's not exactly smart. Um, do you have a description of that guy that was with him? Uh, let me check. Hold on. In fact, uh, actually, I don't think he gave me one. Well, I suppose we can still get it, right? Yeah. Um, just a second. I'm going back over my notes here. Alan and I visited Maddy, Lennox's wife, and she didn't know anything about this shit. So if Lennox is working with the puppeteer, whatever whoever's working with the puppeteer and Lennox just bought into it 
he did put himself and his wife through terrible danger. So that's either insane loyalty or insane stupidity or mind magic. The last one is probably the least probable. Can you... Are you able to tell if someone's under the influence of my magic and break it? I remember this lit trid that I watched where the, uh, you, you thought it was a bad guy, right? But then Minions? the finger waggler, sorry. I, I didn't hear you tomorrow out of character. Tomorrow? Uh, can you hear him? No. Okay. Oh, oh. Uh, wait a second. Uh, I'm gonna ask uh, sure. tomorrow. Disconnect and connect again to Discord. Okay. Can you say something now. Yeah. Hi. Uh oh. Oh, she still can't hear you. I can't hear anybody. Uh, you can't hear anybody. I'll... Oh, anyone. How about? Yeah, you? I can hear him. Discord. I'll try. No. Got you now. Oh, she can hear you now. Uh -huh. Okay. So I'm my character is responding to you. I, I'm responding to your character saying my magic and I say, can you can you guys detect if someone's using my magic? I, I watched this really amazing trid one time where the you thought it was a bad guy, right? And you thought like, oh, this bad guy is really evil. But then the the finger waggler waggled their finger and said, no, the the, the bad guy is being controlled by a better guy, and the bad guy is actually good. Ah. Uh... I mean, kinda. That... If somebody's uh, keeping a spell on you, like sustaining it, yeah, you can. If you look at somebody's aura, you can notice that. But if somebody casts a spell on you and it just, you know, sits there, like the spells I use to, like, fix my hair and shit, then no, it's no longer noticeable. But mind magic should be. I'll I'll turn to Alan and say the trades are so accurate, man. You can it's really educational watching those trades. Uh, I'm gonna look at him uh, in a, in a, uh, at Mac in a wise and voice, and, and 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 raise my fingers in in, in a, a two finger gesture and say these are not the trades we're looking for. Mm, I can do that. <laughs> Alan Chuck. Classics, man. <laughs> We can actually do that, but I don't know if it helps us in this specific case. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, so if somebody ever comes up, you know, looking for us, we can, we, we, we know who to call them. <laughs> yes, that's me. Although I'd rather not, for reasons. Like, messing with people is wrong. Right, Alan? <laughs> so, what are we doing? Well, I can, you know, plan A, as yes, so far, as we go over there in some uh, uh, various values of knock on his door and, and you know, ask politely. Uh, and plan B is, you know, my shotgun. Uh, so what's plan C? Uh, have a machine gun on my car. Part of plan B is also shooting him in the face with a pistol. Can we make it plan D or something? I feel like there's only so much... There's, like, you you have the polite method, and if he if he's threatening to us, then we move to plan destroy everything. Um, that I would be D, plan yes. B I, I suppose plan D is that if he's being disrespectful, we just punch him up. Uh, uh, but I don't see it going that way. I feel it's either going to be a, a conversation or destroying everything. Wait. No, no, no. Plan B is literally the name of my shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Still no. I Go on, Alan. I guess there's the possibility of also, uh, also part of plan B, probably, dropping in from the ceiling somehow, like, uh, tomorrow said, pull it, like, pulling out. 
Well, I'd just like to remind everyone that this guy has been messing with three entire gangs with no other support. I have a feeling like busting in and trying to deal with him is not going to go well. We just need information. He's expecting a big gang, not like five, six people. He also seems to be one of those tactician types, you know? You, you know the type on the trids who like, who, who they, they think about the plan, but when the bat, when the hero's actually kicking the door, it's not that big of a... It just, it doesn't seem like something I'd want to bet on. I haven't seen many treats lately, but I, I would much prefer us to have both plan for, you know, pleasant conversation and something smart, not just shooting the guy in the face, because that gives us nothing. I gotta agree. Also, being blown up is not high in my list of priorities. Yeah. I'm not very high on, on animal cruelty, but we could always send a chicken bomb. <laughs> well, how, <laughs> how about this? Uh, we could... I'd go to the market and see if I can get one of those spy cameras. Um, and like, we go have a conversation, but then if he isn't cooperating, we get him angry and uh, and he'll say something. Then we show the video to the other gangs. I guess. Hey, tomorrow, did you ever get that uh, that vest size extra, extra, extra small? No. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> I will not be your tactical pigeon. I have, oh, come on! Tactical pigeon is the, is the thing, I, man. I don't have much of a pride, but I have some. I have this thing. <laughs> I'll tackle will take out like a, a plastic box that's like maybe a ring size box, and like inside is a fly spy. Um, it's like this little bug looking thing. It looks like it almost looks like a bug until we, uh, until he turns on his drone. Um, uh, I'll say, I can just record with this thing as we're talking. And... That would work. Yeah. Hey, and you can share video and audio? For the... What kind of sensors does that thing have? Sensor system. Uh, Taco knows the answer. The player needs to look that up. The Wait, Taco will very have... smartly describe what sensors it has. Didn't I To, to reference my favorite uh, uh, slingshot guy, let me show you it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're quoting my spirit animal. Wait a second. Didn't, didn't I get that for you? In six days? Yeah, you've been doing that before we started the session. It's already done. Okay. Yes. Right, so we have a fly spy, and I also kind of talked Quarrel, you know, that weird guy that lives in the basement, kind of paranoid dwarf. Never mind, I talked Quarrel into building me a radio scanner, and we're kind of paying Dash, so we might as well use her. You know, I was, just was, catch on I was saying... Yeah, go on, Mac. I was thinking something along that lines too, right? Mm -hmm. So we've still got her abilities on tap. We can try and find some way to get her access to his systems without him knowing. Same sort of deal we were trying. Yeah. And yeah, Dash is getting a cut from your action, so she's, she's uh, at your services. I've also had a curious thought about uh, establishing your own private mesh network, but I don't know if that you guys are, are, are hip to that. I don't know. Can you get? Uh, can you get the game? If we rig up. Uh, uh, some of them. I mean, you could probably make Minecraft work work on. Of course, Minecraft works on any. And Skyrim uh, 26. <laughs> right, so I was thinking we can take Dash and we can take any scanners, whatever, put ourselves on the roof under magical concealment that no camera is gonna ever look through. 
and just scan whatever signals that are coming out from that house. Maybe some of them are just, you know, uh, communication with the drones, but maybe some of them are communications with the people. And if we cut the signal, maybe Dash can, I don't know, decrypt it. <clears throat> so, I, Go. I know we have a plan A and a destroy everything plan, but I can maybe add another plan to that. I can probably tase him if I need to. <laughs> he wouldn't die. I'm totally on board with not killing people just for the sake of it. Um... To your plan C, I have a, a, a sport rifle with gel round. Yeah, but... This is all cool and dandy, but... You know, our job is to prove that BBs are innocent. At least bring some proof to Stor. But Katr is not gonna believe in that anyway, so... Kinda doesn't matter, we just have to keep BBs happy. So whatever data we can steal of Puppeteer is probably gonna be enough. It's not like we Yeah, that's true. So, we don't have to bring him in in chains. So an in person data suck is, is probably going to be our best bet long term? Because, uh, to be fair, we don't want this kind of person living in the neighborhood anyway. Yeah, but when we try to do that, what's the chance we're going to get drones on us? We, we deal with the drones when, when that... Right, so I did some digging, and why do you say we don't want that kind of a guy in the neighborhood? Somebody who drives around blowing up buildings? That's not, that's not, that's not polite. Yeah, but think about that this way. Uh, if Lennox was working with the puppeteer, he knew nothing is gonna happen to them, to him and to Maddie. The trays, according to the message that they got, were supposed to leave that shack. They didn't, and that's our fault. Nobody was supposed to die there. It was supposed to steer trouble between the gangs, forcing them to, you know, kill one another. And I get the idea of getting rid of gangers, but... There weren't supposed to be any casualties in that attack. Like, the drones that appeared there didn't shoot at the trays, they didn't shoot at the BDs, they shot at the jeep. And according to what we know, both the jeep and the drones were puppeteer's property, so... The guy's just steering trouble and not really hurting anybody. Chaos. He's, he's got a reputation as a vigilante, right? Not a murderer. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't like people who go around starting chaos for the, the, the point of starting chaos. Have you met me? As yeah, a but you're—I can, you know, <laughs> you at least get within a, a, a level of manageable chaos. Well, thanks. Uh, Alan, hey. you were starting to say something. I—I I just said she had a. Even that fake hideout. If you think about it, that was four ghouls that were being kept off the street, and so, like, Mac, you've seen those boxes, right? Smelling of the same aura that the decomposing bodies. And there were no signs of aggression in that in that building. No crimson, no no murder. It was just decay. Which means that the guy took off four ghouls of the streets and fed them and gave them shelter. So they don't go around rampaging. He didn't kill anybody. Well Probably. I mean, yeah. Like, where did the bodies come from, right? It's the warrants. There's bodies mm. everywhere. If not, that means they've been eaten. I'm just saying, the guy's 
probably not a monster and maybe we are we would be able to talk to him although you know talking's not really my thing it might i'd be prefer more. not to do it in person either right which is why i would say give him a com address maybe even just buy it I got no problems with showing up if that's what we need to do. <laughs> and, I mean, hopefully, I, go. and hopefully not get shot at. Yeah. And, and uh, amongst the, 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 the totality of us, I, I think I, I have the highest chance of surviving, you know, for a few seconds. I can stop the bullets for you. I would make things even nicer. <laughs> Yeah, we can long. magic you up to try and give you. Yeah. But to be honest, well, uh... learning more about the guy that was there talking to Steer with Lennox and snooping digitally around Puppeteer's house are the least risk inclusive options. So maybe we should start there. See what we learn. All right, let's do that. Uh, uh and see what we can come up with you know uh i i for, let's it, let's increase our plan a all right so you want to go to the uh, jammer pad to talk with steer first then or what sure okay so it's uh, pretty late in the evening but uh, Dockers are still working, obviously, they're always working. There's somebody, somebody just uh, gotta be there. It's only a short walk from uh, the Best Western to uh, the Jammers. You just basically have to cross a parking lot. So, a couple of hundreds of meters later, you enter the pad. You can see there is one LAV on the rooftop. Uh, for being unzipped, as they as they call it, which is means that the forklifts and drones are taking the cargo inside very quickly before the border patrol realizes that the LAV has landed. And there is uh, quite a lot of people running around uh, on forklifts, on foot, carrying uh, tanks of fuel, carrying various chests and desks. And uh, yeah, you can sure as heck see steer. Uh, in his usual position behind the, the desk with a loudspeaker in his hand the dwarf is uh, yelling at the workers organizing the entire situation through a megaphone and uh, with him is uh, the largest troll you have ever seen uh, native american troll in sunglasses built basically from an, in, an, in its entirety out of muscles so like he looks as if even his muscles have muscles, and uh, each one of them is yelling Hulk Smash. And uh, some of you know the troll as Bunny. He's uh, generally looking behind Steer's back, not doing anything. Alright, so what are you guys doing? I'm gonna leave that to someone else. Hey! How you doing, Bunny? Bunny looks at you, smiles widely with his task. Oh, hello! Oh, how are you? It's been a while. How is your investigation going? Uh, bumpy, man. Bumpy. Oh, splendid! Wonderful, even. Steer just looks at you. character, uh, man. Uh, <laughs> hey, um... Do, do you, uh... A couple, uh, a couple of days ago, we, we were, uh, the, uh, Lenny was uh, bumming around with this this random orc guy. Uh, we never we couldn't get a good proper description of him. Yeah, did you see him? Uh, uh, Steer turns around uh, to the conversation. Oh, hey, Joey, how's it going? And, uh, the other guy wasn't an orc, though. Uh, out of character, he wasn't. I thought it was an orc that he was with. Uh, nobody said he was an orc. Lenny is an orc. Oh, that, well, yes, and Lenny was, there was some other random orc with him? Oh, maybe I'm just mistaken. Nah, the guy was okay. an orm. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, yeah, no, we're looking for the, we're still looking for the dude that, that, 
that owned that Jeep. And uh, I'm kind of hit a couple dead ends. I, got, I need to talk to Lenny when it gets back. But uh, uh, other than that, uh, we've learned a little bit about the puppeteer. But uh, we, and, uh, and we're tr- we've got some plans, you know, cooking. Oh, you've had in something, asks uh, Bunny. Oh, want to spill the beans? Uh, I, I look over it tomorrow. Um, maybe once you pay us, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you, your, your money's waiting for you. You'll get it, don't worry about it. We're not worried, we just don't want you to settle... We don't want to sell you intel that we haven't checked out properly, so we'll get back to you. Yeah, you do that. That'd be wonderful. Don't worry. It's so good. Last time we tried to check out intel, something exploded. Exploded? That sounds like half uh, fun. Anybody died? I hope not. Yeah, no, we're good. Oh, that's great. But I think I heard that explosion. Mm Mm-hmm. That was that hideout. Oh, so they found his hideout then? Oh, the, the one that uh, we told you about? Mm-hmm. It's missing a wall now. Oh, well, shit. Maybe we can call him some, like, furnishing renovator. Who knows? <laughs> right, buddy. Urban renovation, man. Yeah. Let's get this neighborhood running. We have to fix them walls. <laughs> Tell the guys to call us. We'll give him your number. Okay, that's great. Okay, guys, but seriously, what the fuck you're doing? You're really, like, busy and, uh, you know, get to the point. Why are you so rude, Steer? Like, I'm not being rude, you're high. Just, like, sit down, bunny. (laughs) I'm not high, I'm tall, giggled the troll, and then I rolled another joint. Tomorrow's gonna sit next to Bunny and continue that conversation because it's hilarious. And she's likely going to get that joint going her way at some point. Possibly. She's not against that. And you guys do the work. So, guys, tomorrow uh, distracted Bunny with idle chatter. Uh, so yeah, I guess Taco will speak up and say, so what about this, uh, this Jeep? Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about this Jeep too. He was here talking about it and, uh, he was asking who did Lenny came with and I told him that he came with the guy. Yeah, and, uh, that's kind of, that, that character came up with something of a dead end until Lenny gets back. So... Yeah, then he's kinda not here though, cause he went with Hammer. Hey, what the fuck you doing there? Lift that crate up, can't you read? It says Fragile, motherfucker! He yelled at some guy, uh, an orc in the background, uh, going with the crate, and orc's like, Yeah, sorry, I think, you know, it held it upside down. And then he actually did held it upside, uh, right side up and continued with the crate. So yeah, all I know is Lennox came with the guy, the guy took some bullshit and I could tell him to fuck off. To fuck off my luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, like, like, uh, uh, so, uh, how many, it's, how long till when he gets back, right? It's gonna be a couple of days. That's what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. So, what do you want? Come on, ain't got all day. I'll sort of look over to Chewie and say, I guess, can you give us a call? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll... I can't really hear you guys. I heard the beginning of the sentence. Oh, I, I looked at Chewie and said, uh, and said, uh, well, can you give us a call when, um, when, uh, they get back? When- yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, do you, Do you have any idea what that the guy was talking about? Or can you give at least? Nah. Uh, yeah, it was like this tall, muscular guy. Not like bunny over here, but like normal people, muscular. He had a short hair, kind of flat on top. I wanted to put my coffee on top of it, but I couldn't reach. And he was talking with a funny accent. You guys got any security cameras over here? Do you have a pick? Yeah, yeah, with a straight thing to the police because, you know, we keep things all up the table right here. And don't, yeah. don't you make any short jokes at me. Uh, can we get a picture of him, do you think? No, we don't have cameras here, dude. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> Taco, like, uh, gets, uh, uh, starts blushing. Okay. Yeah, um, okay. So... Uh, yeah, okay. I, th I think we can I, we can start working with that. Did you talk to any? Yeah, he was asking people around. I had to tell him to get the hell out of before I kick him out. Because he was making people busy. Stopping the works, kind of like you are now. Get that fuck off my house. Alright, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, one last question. Uh, uh, can you point, uh, point to somebody else here that he was talking to? And... Uh, yeah, he was talking to Tipika No. But as far as I know, Tippy hey. told him to piss off, to piss off and go eat a banana or something. I don't get that guy. All right. So th thanks for. The yeah, no problem. Now you know what to do. Shows you got the guys towards the exit. Hey, come by for a burrito. Yeah, 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 we'll do. Also, I checked what you called me in the dictionary. You freaking tasker. I'll look at you, uh, Chew and whisper like, what, what the fuck? I, I, I called him. Oh, you, it, may, it sounded like you called him some, something awful. I mean, well, I mean, it's a, it, it, it's a it's a sore subject. Uh, he's a he's a bitch. Yeah, my patient, my patience isn't that long either, you know. Also, I'm standing right here. Yeah, God damn it, fucking orcs! Uh, that was as we were walking off. <laughs> I should have told it then. Then should have said it beforehand. Okay, All so right. I, uh, I, was, I was imagining that this as we were walking away. You know, no, I, I am not going to insult one of our, our, our best. Friends. <laughs> 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 well, like you know, gotta tell me that stuff. Now it's too late. How tall is? <laughs> is it is, is it dwarf? Yeah, he is. Still, is a dwarf. He's like a meter th meter thirty. So that's like what. A meter 30. Yeah, that's what I UCS said. UCS thankfully uses the metric system. It does. Blame Canada. Yeah, it's, I don't measure things in feet. It's kind of weird. Anyway. I'll look at Chewing. Uh, I'll look at Chewing and say, um, hey, I know, um, I know Tippecanoe. I was just doing work for him. Maybe, maybe I can clean out more turrets for him uh, to get. Uh, yeah, hey, uh, you know, if, if uh, soda and, and eggs will help, I'm more than willing to contribute. Yeah, and uh, you know that Tipi, uh, Tipi Canoe's uh, LAV is on the rooftop right now. You can get there pretty easy. Yeah, I'll, I'll lead the group to... You lead the group to... Um, I have some... Tipi Canoe. Oh, so am I the only person who doesn't hear you? Mm. Ah, gonna reconnect again. Discord. Discord. Okay, yeah, Discord does that. I have some uh, weird problems with Discord on this computer that I'm using right now. Uh, During the break. Yes, Alan, people are talking. If you, if you, if you can't hear us, 
I am gonna type to him that Yeah, just one second. Discord does that sometimes. Can you hear us now, Alan? Hello, hello, can you hear us? Yep, there we go. Yeah, it does that sometimes. Now I hear you. Yeah, next time maybe we am gonna change the server region to some place that is closer to United States. But yeah, so uh, you make it up the ladder to the uh, parked LAV, the Banshee called Duckess. And uh, you can see that the dwarf in a long coat and a hat uh, with long beard and generally rather opulent looking, looking clothing is smoking a cigar watching the workers uh, unload the cargo. He's like turned his back to you so he can't really see you. Hey, typically, do you have any, uh, work? Work? No, no, I already fixed that turret for me, didn't ya? What's up? Uh, we had a few questions and we heard, uh, we heard you might... Yeah, what about it? Um, there's, we're looking for this guy who, who drove a jeep and is, um, muscular, uh... Uh, I look at the group. It's like, is, do we only get muscular? You get. He's got a flat top. Oh, uh, this motherfucker. Yeah, I know him. I mean, I didn't know he had a jeep, but like, the guy came here, like, started pestering people, pestering workers. Steer almost kicked his ass. That's kind of funny. Had to give him a chair. What about do him? Have a pic do you have a picture of him? Do you know anything about him? Uh, no, I don't have a picture. I don't like pick speaks of random people and the only thing about, about him is that he's an asshole what up he came here talking we should like unionize no wait unionize or other complicated words and like get some protection because the business is getting rough and uh, yeah, yeah when he was spewing that stuff too yeah like what up that's kind of annoying first the axe came here talking about how we could get, they could give us an edge over the security over here in the army and how they could help us get equipment and now this guy comes as so we should be get forming a union well a man can't commit crime in peace these days right what do you think we are a mob or something organized crime yeah the only organized crimes happening in my belly had too many tacos i think they're slowly discovering space flight if you know what i mean so wait, it sounded like he was doing some organized crime stuff? Well, at this time... No, he, he's is attempting to organize crime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No organized crime here, man. All the organized crime around here plays poker. Can I roll my, um... Yeah, Lucky was saying something he was gonna go. Yeah. Told him he has to clean my cabin first. <laughs> wait, well, Lucky... Lucky's gonna say... Oh, that fragger. Oh, I'm gonna kick that fragger, <laughs> fragger's hoop. Then you, you see Lucky running off from the cabin with a rug in his hand. The, but Bill, you told him you're not gonna tell anybody! He asked! <laughs> <laughs> I sort of I sort of like point at Lucky, he's like, I'm gonna come and kick your hoop after I'm done working on, on this. I have a rug and I'm not afraid of using it! Hey, 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 that's my rug! <laughs> Don't get blood on it, goddammit! You know how far hard it is to find a good rug around here? Just ask my ex-wife. Uh, sorry, boss. I'm, uh, yeah, sorry, Taco. It's not gonna go, but then I was like, kind of invited already, and uh, you know how it is. <laughs> you know, Lucky, I really think it's not the best of ideas. Those guys are dicks. And they probably don't have that much as they pretend. I'm yeah, gonna that's, cast that, influence. That's, yeah, that's good, because I don't have any money either. I'm casting influence. Okay, cast influence. Uh, sir. I'm gonna restart music, one sec. Uh, sir, not knowing what tomorrow's doing, I sort of roll my eyes like, what, do you need like $10 for some lunch money? 10 new yen rather for... Okay, one second. Well, you have four hits, there is no way Lucky can beat that. 
So I'm not even gonna roll for him. Well, I'm just implanting the idea that going to that poker game is as stupid as idea. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know what? I guess going to that poker game is a stupid as idea. Oh, thanks, 10 million. Ha. <laughs> yeah, go buy some what? milk, you, you fragger. I'm going to reevaluate my life choices. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, what, what are you guys talking about? Hey, leave my man alone. Hey, Lucky, get back to frick to cleaning those windows and windows S? Windows I? How do you pronounce that? I'm gonna wash themselves anyway. Go, 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 go. Chop, chop. It's Windows, boss. Go. And Lucky went, just waved at you and went back to the Banshee to his uh, hard and uh, arduous duties. So yeah, that was this guy. He wanted to talk about unions, that we can't compete and uh, we should get pull our resources and get more gears at, and I told him that I can push my gear up his ass and he kinda left. What else you wanna know? Can I um flag can I run can I roll criminal organization to see if there's any like legit organized crime faction that uh would try to do something like this? Yeah sure. Like I'm imagining like the ancients are trying to set this up. Uh, the engines aren't, aren't really working in the uh, area, but uh, yeah, you can roll. Yeah, let me just check your dice pool. I think it's six. Yeah, we can go with that. Uh, well, yeah. Uh, yeah, there is generally Yakuza have been doing stuff around here, trying to convince people to, uh, you know, pull resources. And yes, it was six to pull resources and get under Yakuza protection, but uh, the smugglers aren't having any of it, and the uh, gangers are, let's say, uh, violently opposed to any organized crime taking away their money. Right. But uh, you heard that both the cutters and the BBs have some sort of uh, outside uh, connections working on them and for them and sponsoring them. So... Whoever is sponsoring those two guns is those two gangs is definitely not trying to get the smugglers from under their curation. Might be some other organization. But yeah, you hmm. heard that about Yakuza and the mafia doing business around the Yuka sector and the warrants and the triads on the other side of the border in the Cas sector. Alright. Yeah, so I'll look at the I'll look at the group and say we might be dealing with like Yakuza or triads or like legit mafia pulled back here. Great. That's there. Hey, Bill. Did the guy give you his name or tell whose protection he's offering? Yeah, he said his name was Mike. It's more like Misha, if you know what I mean. With that accent? If his name is Mike, my name's Betty. What accent? You know, if you die, you die kind of accent. Like in the old treats. Oh! He even had a similar hairstyle. Oh! Okay, so we're looking for a Russian? I don't know. It's like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't know who you're looking for. I'm looking for my bottle. Ah! Well, I've got one right here. Oh, Bonk. that's not my bottle, but I'm gonna take it. He reaches out and takes it. Takes it's a long non-alcoholic, swing. but it is definitely a bottle. He takes a long swig, goes like... <laughs> The fuck is this? That's not vodka. No, it, it, it's it, it's the ultimate fizzy drink. It, it's caffeinated and pleasurable. He just gives you the bo the bottle back without a word. Sorry, all I got is coffee. Yeah, me too. I had a bottle of tequila there somewhere, but just kind of lost it. I don't know where it went. Come by later, I think I have some Can I be that guy and quickly look for this tequila? Sure. Roll perception. Want to find out how much Yeah, one second. Chalmers, uh, Chalmers kinda slow today. Seven. Come on, scroll yourself, you bastard. Yep, it's seven. Yeah, you, you can't exactly see the bottle. You look around and look inside the uh, Banshee. And uh, yeah, you can 
you have a vague idea that uh, Lucky's motions while wiping those uh, windows aren't exactly as precise as they would have if he was sober. So while you didn't find the bottle, you, you can probably guess where it went. I... Alan shuts up. Okay. Guys. Oh man, lucky he's gonna get himself killed. Oh, sorry. No, he probably is. <laughs> I'm just thinking, if the guy was here offering some protection deals to jammers, maybe he did the same on the market? And, you know, maybe somebody actually talked to him for longer than 30 seconds. I mean, we already know it's a guy with Russian accent and weird head calling himself Mike. That's way more than we had. You're welcome, so, by the way. Yeah, we're welcome. I have a sneaking suspicion that Mike not might not be a real name Ugh. or might not be his real name. Who of us uses their own name? I do. My name's Bill. <laughs> I know, Bill. You're uh, awesome. Thanks. Alan slowly raises his hand. Oh, did not expect that. Well, it's the name he goes by anyway, so it should be good enough, right? Let's go talk to the wizard. He, uh, he's low level-ish and uh, someone they might try to push around. Why don't we just split and talk to many people in the market? We're gonna cover more ground and if we find somebody who took him up on the offer, they should have some contact details, right? Yeah, you guys should split up, cover more ground that way. I've watched that movie. <laughs> it always sounds Just go full well. stu- Just go full stu- we do on this. <laughs> so, do we need to arrange for more Scoobies next? I can be the dog. <laughs> yep, I think we're gonna arrange for you to be stoned enough to do the part, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you should talk to Bunny about that though. I already did. And ask him how long is it gonna take? I got a bed. There's only like an hour or three before the council gets to the conclusion that I landed here. Yeah, we should probably leave you guys to your work, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I mean, I'm not working, but you know. <laughs> Tomorrow might be a bit stoned. Oh. Hey, if, if y'all go back down to Azuland, um. I got a standing order for uh, for all the the useful spices y'all can grab. What do you mean by useful spices? Uh, chili powder, uh, paprika, ancho, you know, anything that looks like like slightly hot and and, and real. All right, I keep that in mind. Uh, uh, cumin, man, cumin is hard to get up here, and and, and I don't want to uh, deal with grinding it. Look yeah, I'm going to Chicago man. next, so I, I don't know, but maybe I can visit a shop. But, you know, we gotta uh, fans me the money in advance, you know, I don't I don't work charity. Okay, I'll, I'll float you some cash before you go. Let me let me know when you take off. Yeah, probably tomorrow, to be honest, judging by how fast this goes. <laughs> also, I'm completely shit face. I can't drive the Autobahn today. Maybe I'll let Lucky try. No, I'm, not, I'm drunk, not crazy. Hey, I heard that! Yeah, <laughs> and you should be cleaning the windows. I'm so hard trying not to make a joke about rubbing alcohol. <laughs> but only because I haven't seen that. Right, so, we should probably go. Yeah. Check the market then. Sayonara. Bye, Bill. Adios, amigo. Uh, Kawasaki. I'll sort of look at Chewie and say, uh, after, as we're walking away, I'll look at Chewie and say, uh, 
What are you watching like the Food Network or some Jack? Like what? What's the spice? Oh man, yeah, no. Um, I, 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 I was raised. You guys, huh? You gonna open up some Michelin star Jack in the Warrens or something? Well, something like that. I mean, everybody deserves a decent meal. And to be honest, um, there I know a lot of people that can't process soy. Oh, I... uh, okay, that's fair. I'll give. Okay, so you make your way down to the uh, Shadow Market to talk to Wizard. Oh, we're talking Wizard? I don't know, that's what you said. That's fine. I, I wanted to go to Vandal, but... I might have got my... Yeah, I want to talk to Vandal, I might have got my name and my stuff. He's the lower tier, uh, scum, scum armor stall. Yeah. Oh well, and, and here I here I am already with the picture of wizard ready. Hmm. Sorry. <laughs> what is yeah, wizard no. do? I forgot. He's selling drugs and BTLs. I'm. I'm. Uh, we can do try. I'm sweating just a little bit, standing uh, staring at the guy. You do wizard. That my con my character's an addict, so he'll probably go with wizard. No. Yeah. Did you change it to vandal? No, I didn't, because I, I actually have to use my second computer for that. I'm checking uh, the pictures. Okay, so you you manage to make your way to the market. It's not that far from the pad. Again, you don't have to cross a parking lot, so not much happens. You enter the uh, building of the shadow market. You see a lot of peddlers uh, hanging about, couple of late, convis late uh, visitors. You see a couple of trays actually buying ammo from a guy. You can't see Vandal anyway though, even though uh, trays would usually go to him first. So they are buying from somebody. So, uh, where are you going? It's pretty late, so some of the actual shops are already closed and the, the doors are closed uh, with the net, steel net and so on but there is a couple yes. of still open uh, people like wizard for example do have a 24 hour service <laughs> all right yeah go i'll go you go where because something cut off uh, oh i'll go talk something cut off again on i'll go talk He's going to wizard oh, oh okay yes Hope it's only on my side. All right, so uh, you do find yourself a wizard. Give me a second. Oop. There you go. In his chop shop with his uh, hands all bloody and some guy sleeping uh, under a machine that's uh, installing something inside his head. And the uh, wizard uh, is uh, smoking a cigarette over the open. Uh, school of a person. Hey, what's up, muchacho? Hey, wizard. Yeah. We, uh, do you have any? Do you have any new? Do I always? What you need? I mean, uh, uh, I'm kind of busy right now, so I might not have hands for that. But ask away. Maybe I have it. Well, I'll take. I'll, I'll take two chips and then um, and then we had a few questions about this guy with a Russian accent built guy uh, oh yeah yeah there was a guy I said his name was Mike or something you I don't know I think the wizard just goes like takes a, takes a long uh, whiff of smoke and uh, kind of drops ash somewhere in the vicinity of the patient not on him though <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he talked with me. What do you say? What, what, uh, he's pushing a protection deal, you know. He did! He wanted to say, he wanted to protect my business, and I already told him that my business protected. And, uh, very protected, in fact. He was very surprised. 
To quote Bunny, astonished even. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and you you shot him? A little bit. I thought. Uh, so, no. I mean, my hand got twitchy. I'm not the youngest anymore, and he came here, asked me stupid question. I thought like he's looking for me. I mean, that's what he said that he wanted to talk with me uh, about protection. So I shot him in the face. No, a little bit shooting, especially the face. Not a little bit shooting. Hey, face. I get nervous well, about people like that come here and say they want to talk with me about protection. Come on. I, I'm shooting him a lot in the face is, you know, more than five times, right? Yeah. I just shot him once. See, I'm basically an innocent in this whole situation. Is he still alive? Yeah, 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 he is. I shot him with a super squirt. Oh, ghost. With hydrofluoric acid. Oh, ghost. I mean, I thought it was Narcojet on my defense. <laughs> like, he can't read the label, it's kind of dark in here, actually. Oh, wait, I was operating. He puts down wait, a cigarette well, and takes the square. scalpel and like, starts operating on the patient while talking with you. <laughs> yeah, I got this. I was like cleaning windows and stuff. Uh, that's why the acid. Cause that shit just doesn't come off, man. What, what was in yeah. the uh, uh, the super squirt? Acid. Oh, yeah. Hydrochloric acid. Told you, man. Hey, if you want new cyberies, yeah. I can get you one straight from Chiba ish. <laughs> Actually, I am gonna be in the market for some new wear soon. Hey, uh, you I'm came to the right guy. What you, what you need? I'm going to be looking for some skill wires. Oh, yeah, that can be done. Yeah, I'm, 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 going, to, I'm going to want the uh, the, the, uh, uh, the full suite. Nice, uh, doing some renovation inside your nervous system. I like that. I like that style, man. So, what do I think? And, like, do you mind if they're, like, what's your price range, if I ask? Price range. I uh, don't know yet. I know I can't afford it right now, but I'm not. So I'm not going to bother negotiating. Yeah, that like kind of gear is a mucho I, dinero business, indeed. Uh, I'm not going to waste your time about talking about money when I don't have it on hand. Yeah, speaking but of waste, that guy probably didn't need that part. With that drops a piece of meat into a trash. No, I'm kidding. That's what I'm putting the data jack. Jesus, well, who do you think I am? Some kind of a butcher? Actually, I am kind of hungry. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, skill wires. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come by when you have the money, man. We can talk ten. We can talk bees. Of course, it's gonna probably take a while because I gotta put up the, you know, a little donation with a request from our lovely neighborhood smugglers. But then, I yeah, have the best service around. I promise. I killed all the company. I mean, uh, nobody else is doing this like the, and operating around here. No. Shame how that happens. Wizard uh, really yeah. seems to be enjoying like scaring you guys. <laughs> uh, this guy's making me really nervous about you know him doing any kind of work that. Yeah, and uh, you are absolutely sure that he's doing it on purpose just for fun. Because uh, you don't know much about biotech, but uh, he is uh, right now manually adjusting uh, the autodoc that's installing the, a data jack inside a guy and the machine looks very clean, so... Then again, bacteria is microscopic. So, so what, did the, what, what did the guy... how did the guy react after you squirted a hydrofluoric acid? Well, he kind of went like, ah, he's a giant drama queen, is all. There's a giggling dog in the background. Okay. A, a blue haired? No, a husky. But yeah, he kind of went like, all, ah, oh, the fuck are you doing? Ah. Uh, it's like a lot of noise about any nothing if you ask me. I told him I can get him a new face, but he kind of got offended and left. That's one way to drum up. 
Yeah. <laughs> I got some skin grabs real cheap. I can sell you some if you want. What? Burning people's faces? I didn't burn his face. The acid did. I mean, also, I didn't know that situation. The guy kind of scared me. He comes here and says, hey, I want to talk with you about protection. You know, with that weird of, like, sorry, I, I didn't do it right. Let me start over. So the guy just comes here and goes like, hey, I want to talk with you about protection. No, that's not how it went. It was like, are, are you like wizard? We need to talk about protection. So I kind of feel like I need to protect myself, you know? That's... that's... Yeah, he didn't like, even let him. He didn't even let him finish his sentence until he got to. He could have been like some like, I don't know, some clinic person talking about uh, safe. Listen, man, the only clinical things around here are alcoholics. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. Okay. Fair. But yeah, he looked kind of like. You know, I have enemies and problems, so kind of got scared, you know? There are rumors going around, people are going missing and shit. Wait, what about people? Yeah, like, have you seen Vandal lately? He gone. Oh, frag, Vandal's gone. Oh. Yeah, like How he's long completely out gone? of the picture. Long as you, I don't know, a couple of days. B owes me money too. Crap. But yeah, so the guy kind of left, bad and like, feeling. Uh, that, that, that was about it. You sure you don't want those skin grafts? Maybe later, uh, 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 tomorrow, uh, but not. Okay then, yeah, you know, you know where I, you know where my shop is. Hey, yeah, you mess around, do artificial flesh. I got an interesting question for you. Yeah, 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 hit me. Uh, can you make temporary finger? I guess. Suppose so. Like if I um, if we get you some uh, a photograph or something of the, the somebody's fingerprints, you can you can gin some up that I could 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 wear for a while. Uh, I suppose might be better with fingerprints, but uh, I guess fingerprints though, not a picture of fingerprints. Yeah, and the right person is me for that job. Look. Interesting. Look, uh, is that, that's a useful uh, bit, of, uh, bit of information for Yeah, 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 no problem. Well, yeah, just bring me the prints and I can get to, get you all done. And if, if, if you want a horse, I got one old saddled if you're interested to buy. Oh, sorry, I meant horse. Tomorrow drops the spell and like, I have questions about that saddle and that horse and what are you selling of that horse? Well, but one, this hooker, is... one hooker really, not that. Uh... Okay, yeah, gotcha. But did anybody disappear apart from Vandal? Mm, no, not that I know of. He used to betray, right? Yeah, he was saying something, he's going for a funeral or something. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. I've yeah. been hearing about some funeral being massacred or something. What? I mean... That's they're... whack. It's already a funeral, why make it a massacre too? <laughs> that's why I was wondering. It's an overkill. But somebody mentioned that this is supposed to be a massacre. They're gonna be have food and shit. Maybe he just meant it's gonna be a lot of fun. Maybe. I know. Yeah, whatever, it's, it's the worst. It's probably gonna be a massacre. I heard something about there being real food on that funeral. Yeah, that's gonna end well. Huh, I wonder how it ended. Probably well, seeing as I haven't seen Vandal in a couple of days. Oh shit. So well, you say there's free real hey, estate I can, around. I can pay you good money if you got me a combination to his lock. 
if he's not coming back, I can use some like free real estate. Yeah, free real estate. Finger guns at wizard. He finger guns right back. The a little alarm starts beeping on the machine, so he turns around to like uh, input something into the auto dock. What are you doing, guys? I think Joel might know something. I mean, if anybody knows about a random guy offering protection deals around here, it would be Joel. Because he would have to do it way behind her back. And that's impossible, so... Guys, can you hear us? I'm getting some connections. Yeah, please. yeah, just... Okie doke. So, what you doing? Well, I think Jewel's a good idea. We should go talk to her or some. It seems like a solid place to go, yeah. Okay, so you're going to the uh, through the corridors to where Jewel usually sits, and uh, you can see two BBs uh, looking around smartly, but no Jewel. So there is two orcs in the BB's uh, leather jackets with spikes and chains playing around uh, with uh, what looks like a game of uh, three cups and a coin when you arrive. They're looking around uh, and notice you immediately. So. Hey guys, jewel around? No, she's already the retired for the evening. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's kind of late. Yeah. You can call her if you want. Uh, I don't wanna, you know, disturb her evening rest if you can answer our questions. Uh, we're... Sure, what you got? Bunny said to like help you guys, so... Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> we're looking for the guy, uh, kind of Russian, Mike, looking, walking around here selling people on new protection deals. Oh yeah, 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 there was a guy a couple of days ago. Yeah, oh. wizard shot him. A little, yes, that was funny. <laughs> yeah, you know what happened to the frogger? Uh, we kinda let him outside. Gently? Not really. That's good. Yeah, what do you want with the guy? What? Your friend of yours or something? God, no. I know, the guy kinda stinky and I like to know where he went and where I can find, where I can find him. You know if anybody got contact details? Uh, we kind of told him that if he shows his face again around here, he's not gonna see it again. But then he kind of looked like us uh, ironically because somebody like threw acid in his face. <laughs> yeah, he might come back with a completely different face, but the question is if he is he gonna change the accent. I don't know. He was kind of speaking funny. Wizard mm. was making fun of him. What else is new? Uh. I don't know, what day is it? 26. But what day is it? <laughs> See, I don't have a calendar either. We should get electricity. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah so... The blackout's like half a day already, it's annoying as hell. Mm. Uh, so, do you know where he went? No. Well, we kinda get back to the post, you know. So. Mm. Shit. I like to talk to the guy. No, I don't know where he went, said the other guy. He went to uh, south, uh, south-ish, you know, through the through uh, the, our HQ and uh, off he went. Right, deep, deeper into the warrens, actually. Okay. Hmm. Does any of the organized crimes in Denver have actual, like, HQs in the warrants. Are you asking the ganger? Or no, 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 I'm asking out of game. No. The warrants is definitely not a stable enough of a region to have yeah, exactly. any even semi-legitimate operation going on. Like, it's not even all gang there, because what's there to lord over? I mean, there's plenty of gang, uh, yeah, small gangs and, like, with warlords and other things going around. 
The only piece of organized gangery around here is like the BBs and cutters. Mm. Trays are sort of semi-organized, but that's because they're part of the fronts. Uh, other gangs in the Warrens are just trouble. Yeah, so that doesn't sound like the guy went back to his know, employers or whatever. Unless he did. I mean, he would have. The guy need would need a medical treatment after getting splashed acid. If he isn't in one of the uh, street docks in the Warrens that we know of, he he must have a home base outside. That's definitely a possibility. I mean, there there can't be many street docks south of here. I mean, there's Universal Brotherhood chapter. They have some, like, healing facilities there, I think. But that's 10 kilometers. With a partially melted face through Warrens. That doesn't sound like a thing a sane person would do. On foot. Any ideas? Because I'm kind of out. Yeah, I have ideas too, Slot. We can put posters up saying, Hey, do you have a melted face? We want to meet with you. That's unkind. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, that's a bad one. Oh, I should have laughed at the poor guy. But... It's horrible, but hilarious. You shouldn't laugh at somebody with a melted face. And as tomorrow says it, her face kind of changes and switches and... She kind of looks like she has <laughs> acid melted face after a moment. Oh, ew, ew. No, just stop with the finger waggling, man. That's not... Uh, okay, guys, I'm gonna try to change the server. Maybe it's gonna be better for you guys. Mm. Server settings. Uh, not Russia, I'm gonna go with the uh, US East, West or South you want? I'd say East. Yeah, I'm gonna say East because I don't have some... Is there a... Don't you have... Hey guys, is it better now? Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Hello? Yes. Can you hear us better now? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, comms good. Yeah, because I switched server from St. Petersburg to uh, Eastern USA. Me, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. What about flag? 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 Or tomorrow? I'm good. Yeah. Like. Only one's missing so far. Okay, so. I think it's too far away. The server might be too far away from them because they're. they're... Can you hear me? Uh, that tomorrow? does make sense. Hello, hello? Yeah. At least I think they're... Hello, hello? Finland. I can't hear you, so maybe you disconnect and connect. Hello, hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes. There yeah, we go. Uh, yeah, yes. okay, so you, you couldn't five hear five me five? You couldn't hear no me because I changed server on my end and... Uh, uh, I stayed connected, but it must have disconnected me like a ninja. So, how is the audio? Is it better now for you guys? It is, yeah. Much. 100% improvement. Okay, because I switched from St. Petersburg to Eastern USA, so it's closer to you guys. Are we coming in good for you still? Yeah, it's actually better, so... <laughs> so Wonderful. the Russian server. Damn the Russian the internet! <laughs> no. Russian internet comes in buckets. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I... So what? I don't think there's anything we can achieve at the market anymore, so... Second part? Well, first of all, is Chewie back yet? I don't know. Uh, Chewie is a key. Yeah, Chewie is okay. here. Uh, this is going back a little bit, but um, 
when they were talking about the Chewie getting something, Alan would offer to kind of help out when the... Oh, for my skill wires or the spices? Just to be clear for on my end. Uh, I think it was the skill wire. It was just him kind of offering to help out um, when, it, when you go to start trying to... Well, thank you. I, I greatly appreciate that. Solidarity forever. And any, you know, spare parts that he's taking out that you might need, you're welcome to. All right. So, where do you guys want to go? It's uh, slowly getting dark. So if you want to heat up uh, the uh, presumed puppeteer's hideout, that might be a good time, but then again, riding around the, the warrens after dark uh, does count like, as an extreme sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I don't... I'm going to leave it up to you guys if we're going right now, but I suggest that we take a route, just from going from what tomorrow said, if we take a route around the old building that... I think that's smart. Because all the scavengers and stuff, they might not still be there, but I don't think we want to risk Oh, yeah, but the real hideout is way closer than the old one. We don't have to go that way yeah, anyway. Okay. I'm bad at No, that. it's okay. Uh, the new hideout is like two and a half kilometers from here. We used to have five to the old one. Okay. So this is uh... actually much closer. Hey, tomorrow. Yeah. So, have you ever heard of the uh, the coconut bomb trick? Uh, is that a euphemism? Not entirely, but uh, 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 can you find someone by by looking at something that they had astrally? <laughs> no. Okay. I mean, it's possible, but I can't. Depends on the item. If it's magical or enchanted by that person, that makes it a lot easier. Well, I was more thinking about something that they were intimate with. And I'm not necessarily thinking their underwear. I mean... You? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> I mean, you, you can use material samples to, you know, track somebody. Like, that's doable. Not by me again. Um, Flag, are we still in the market? Uh, yeah, you didn't go anywhere, so... Wait, can't you fingerwaggers use, like... Um, I sure, I'm, I'm sure when they got the acid wound, they, like, wiped off the acid with something. There, there might be blood, a blood stain rag. There might be. You should, may, you may go back and ask Wizard. Dude. If that's blood mixed with acid, that sample is probably dead. Oh. And also, uh, you call me a fingle wagger again, and I'm gonna make you regret it. I thought that's what you're supposed to call you guys. No. Right? Just call me tomorrow. Just... After this night is done, yes. <laughs> Finally, Jesus. How long I have to wait for a joke to land. So. I mean, yeah, yeah technically you can track somebody up with, her, with their blood that got left. That's why I kind of have a spell to not that happen to me. If we go back to, uh, what mm. was it, wizard's place? Or wizard's stall? Um, you guys could talk. I might just, like, look around to see if I can see. That's if we end up going. Like Good, that's up to you guys. Minutes. I'm fine with that. With a shot, I guess. Mac, can you even do ritual casting? Like, looking for stuff? Uh, pretty sure I can. Okay. Maybe one of your spirits could track him. 
Yeah, that's the search power, and if, the, if you have a sample of blood or whatever, it's definitely gonna work. Alright, so, so we're going back and checking. Well, you guys are going in a completely different and probably better way than I was, but I was gonna use this to find Vandal, but yeah, this is a great idea! <laughs> it's usable in both cases. I'm yeah. just sitting here trying to do my best because I'm part of non-magic. I, I I just you know, I I, I lived in a, a, a semi-magical society. But I, yeah, I don't want to talk about the rest of that. Uh, yeah. So you're going back to Wizard's place. Yeah. Okay. So Wizard uh, already finished. Uh, lasering up the victim, uh, I mean the patient. Apparently, because uh, the guy is still out of it, but his school is closed. Then you can see a shiny ish new data, new ish data jack installed in his temple. Alright, um, I'm just gonna like tell them to talk about something or try to figure out if he knows if he wiped it off. And I'm just gonna. Yeah. Hey, wizard. Uh, when you when you hit the guy with the acid in the face like a maniac, um, did you did he like wipe off the acid on a rag or something? Uh, then yeah, no. Like first of all, hello again, and second, like no, he just kind of went uh, like oh uh, and escaped, ran away even. Huh. Screaming. That was fun. Do you know which way he went when he was screaming in pain? Out the door. Hmm. I see. Uh, we really need to find this guy because he's he's slotting with many things. Yeah, he's uh, really starting to, to, to uh, harsh my groove around here. Well. I wasn't really looking after him, though. You know? Do you know? Okay, so if you got your face burnt yeah. from the acid, which street doctor would do? There is no other street docs here over other than I. Not a single one. Alan, this is enough stalling. Yeah, it's enough. Um, no, there's nothing around here. So he points to the mop. That's lit. And judging by what he said, he didn't wipe his face off. Yeah. Well, we yeah, it was a good. Thanks for. But we know three things we didn't know when we came in here. But why did you look for the rug? What do you want from it even? Why do I speak like Bunny? <laughs> it's infectious. <laughs> it is, doesn't it? Like, this muchacho just comes here with this weird weed from nowhere and then watching some old cartoons. I know! I took a single, like, whiff from his joint and I started talking like him for like 10 minutes at least. This is unnerving me so much. But yeah, like, the, what, what did you want the rug for? Trying to find some way to track down the guy I thought it might help. What, do you guys have like, uh, like wizards or something? Wait, I'm a wizard, are you mages? That guy is. Son of a bitch. Tomorrow points at Alan. And wizard what? says son of a bitch. Alan looks excessively confused. All right, hey, wizard, listen. This guy is dangerous. If he comes back, like, how do I put this? Can you shoot him in the face with a gel round and then tie him up? I don't have any gel rounds. Can I just tie him up? Maybe ask him out for dinner. Who knows where it goes, you know? <laughs> I'll sort of like, hold, hold on. And like, do you know, have you ever seen someone 
uh, take a gun out of a holster in the in a way that in a non-threatening way. Like you're sort of like grabbing it from the from the barrel. Um, so like in a non-threatening way, I'll unholster my pistol, take the stick and shock rounds out of my pistol, and hand them to to him. Like here, please shoot the guy with these next time. Okay, so like wizard takes very gently that pistol and like pretends to shoot you. Like this, bang! No, no, I, I want my pistol. I, I'm giving him the, I'm giving him the rounds out. What do you want me to just throw it at the guy? Yeah, these are stick and shock rounds. They'll, they'll put them on his hoop. Don't worry about. It. Dude, this is wicked. But yeah, sure, whatever. All right. He doesn't give you back the pistol though. He's just holding it. Hey, I, I want my fragment pistol, man. Oh, right, your pistol. Sorry, I forgot. Your, his face says that he totally didn't forget. <laughs> That's a pretty nice gun you have there. Yeah, we're your super warhawk. You know, it's on all the trids. Wow. So yeah. He... You notice Taco's uh, handling the gun as someone who's never actually fired his gun in anger. So, so you're kind of shy about it. Yeah. He's like, he's basically like, he's someone who's watched too many trades and got that gun because it was cool in trades, but doesn't. He's treating it like a toy, not a gun. He's still being safe with it, like he's not being reckless and pointing at you guys. Uh. He's not treating the gun seriously. Like, he's not a skilled professional with the gun. Uh, Wizard did give it back, though, so... Uh, what you guys doing? We should go. Yeah. We ain't gonna learn anything more here, so we might as well just... Go into the thing. It's quite hey. possible that any... What? I can sell you some nice no-softs, you know. <laughs> Even install them. <laughs> Nah, fine. Uh, this is the best place for learning. You just go to sleep and then you wake up knowing all kinds of new stuff. I know. I once by accident installed Swahili in one guy's head instead of like English that he wanted. That's a great commercial. You should get it, you know, on a video and then loop it and send it around your na neighborhood or something. Maybe it will bring you some more clients. I think I might. It's not like they have anywhere else to go if they want something done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me up if you want to, you know, have some bits or something. No, it's like gonna be like, hello, my name is Wizard and this is Jackass. <laughs> Look at me installing those car batteries on the guy's nipples. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. I can make it look like he's enjoying that. Yeah, that's the best. That's a very good retirement policy. I'll think it through. I'll let you know. Cool. But I think we should get back to work, guys. It's quite possible yeah. that any tracking might lead us to yeah, the Yeah, if I don't we... stop that internal oh, anyway. bleeding, then it's gonna <laughs> probably pass out at some point. I mean me, not the guy. The guy is dead. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. just kidding. Come on. He's I'm, not dead. I they they, this they joke. told me you can't install a potato instead of somebody's heart and make sure that the guy is still alive, but I showed them. I showed them all. Yeah, you know, I took it too far. Yeah. Okay, go away, guys. Bye. He turned around and went back to start uh, to his patient, installing uh, a <laughs> syringe in his uh, arm to wake the guy up. Yeah. I'm enjoying yeah, that. Yeah, hey, uh, so, uh, sometime I'll show you my uh, what I did with my uh, Warhawk, dude. Yeah, well, we Let's get out of here before it gets too late and we need to fire these. The guy, the guy yeah. uh, on the table wakes up, shakes his head, you can see that's a pretty big troll with a new data jack in his temple going like... Holy shit, I didn't know I'm gonna have, like, pu public here. I'd wear fresh socks. You don't even have any fresh <laughs> socks, I know! If you'd have any fresh socks... Okay, fine, I'd go without socks. Please, no, no! Stay on with the... Armor socks you all have on. Don't take them off. I wasn't gonna. Who are those guys? I don't know. They came asking about the guy who uh, was called Mike. He's got a 
weird head and like a burnt face for some reason. I don't know why. The fuck is that of, to do with me? I don't think anything it does anything it doesn't. Who are you guys? Asked the troll. We're the people who saw your winner. And with that tomorrow goes away. Did, did they really see my winner? <laughs> no, no, no. Only the tip, just the tip. <laughs> we want the I'm just kidding. So calm down. So good. If they saw my winner. <laughs> You don't even have a winner! What do you mean? I'm just kidding! Your winner is fine! Just relax, man! <laughs> and like, are you guys like staying in the shop? No, I think it's time to slide out. Okay, so you missed the rest of the uh, conversation, but you assume that wizard survived, maybe. So, you guys are on uh, the... Uh, corridor of the shadow market. It used to be kind of an office building, so it's not really adjusted to be a lot of shops. But there is a lot of peddlers around. So it's getting it's getting dark, so people are getting ready to close up shop and leave because it's uh, you know this is the BB staff and it is safe, but uh, nobody really walks on the streets after dark, so there is no point in having uh, open shops. And what are you guys gonna do? So the question now is if we're going to just not deal with that building tonight, or if we're just going to go and do it. Oh, yeah. uh, we, don't, we still don't have much information. Well, here's the thing. I, I don't think there's any point in tracking the Mike guy. I mean, it's quite possible that he's at the puppeteer's house anyway, and if not, then we kinda know who is he working for. I mean, we can make the kinda logical assumption. So... Wait a second. What? Um, I don't know if this has occurred to you guys, but a thought just occurred. What's that? This mic, this mic guy was going around offering people protection, correct? Yeah. And then you have the, the puppeteer trying to stir up the gangs to fight. Yeah. They're... How do I... Too much synchronicity of events? Yeah, there's... There's way too much there. He, he's trying to make his own market by causing war than selling protection. Oh, That's what I was going with, yeah. That just occurred. Or, or destabilizing the environment so that a, a new major power can shove in. Or pretend that there's a new major power trying to shove in to, you know, throw everything in an even bigger upheaval. Yeah, don't and cause even... I mean, you got BBs and cutters, right? One of them is backed by Yakuza and one of them is backed by the Mafia, isn't it? That? That's the rumor, yeah. So, if you're playing one against another, introducing somebody who speaks with a very noticeable Russian accent to pretend that maybe Vori want to go in? That, that feels like a wrench. I mean, speaking with a Russian accent isn't that complicated? Like, everybody can do that? Especially if you're trying to sound like a Hollywood Russian. Meh. I mean, but uh, uh, a big uh, uh, dude with a flat top, you know. Yeah. I can be a dude with a flat top. Magic. I can make you look like you have a flat top. Mm. Uh. Not only if you agree. Nah, makeover doesn't require a willing Alright, oh, yeah, that's true. How about we go talk to Guy, and if we see he's injured, we we know he used magic to cloak himself as a... We could, or we can just do that digital snooping while... before we go and talk to him. Maybe we'll learn something. All I need to do well... is, you know get some gear and get Dash there. Let's do that then. I mean, it's gonna take like 10 minutes. It's 
a elemental couple spells and just hiding ourselves on a roof. So. Okay, one second, guys. I'm gonna restart the music. Uh, while while you're doing that, uh, I I want to go get Plan B ready. Sure. Sure. I have my gun on me. I mean, I've got my walking around gun, but I don't have my, you know, shit's about to go bad gun. You know, my gear is in is such a way that I pretty much have all of it most of the time, except the baseball bat, which I don't exactly. Mm. I got finger guns. Usually enough. But yeah, I'm gonna grab a gun. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, you're still in the neighborhood, so it's actually quite safe in here. Mm. And yeah, let's take five minutes break. After the break, uh, and in, during the break, Mac and Tomorrow summon themselves some spirits. And uh, now Mac has a Force 5 Spirit of the City with two services. And uh, Tomorrow has a Force 3 Air Elemental, I bet. Running around with one service. Just in case. Okay, so what do you guys do? You want to go to the... Uh, Supposed purported uh, hideout of the mysterious puppeteer, or do we want to do something else? Uh, I, I vote let, let's go uh, do the direct option and confront the fellow that we uh, suspect of things. I mean, let's pick up uh, what's her name? Dash. Yeah, Dash doesn't live uh, yeah. with you in the Warrens, though. Doesn't she? No, you have her on the phone, if anything. Well, we can contact her and ask her if she feels like coming by. Well, okay, you're calling Dash, so you can get an automated message. Hello, and this is Dash's automated secretary, speaking with the accent of the French. Leave message after the massage. Yo, I'm still waiting for massage. Yeah, now there is, uh, and you can hear Dash's voice. No, there isn't gonna be any any massages. I'm no, sorry, I just had uh, to. What's up? Uh, well, we're kind of planning to go and check out the new spot. Yeah, that's cool, cool, cool. If you got a, a radio data tab, then uh, you can just plug it in. I got myself a SATA link to your local network uh, tower. Yeah, and we have a radio signal scanner, so maybe you will be able to tap into something. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, that that, that will work. So. You don't have to wait for me, I'm here. So all you need is a data tub? Yep. Let's get ourselves a data tub then. Yeah, after that explosion I figured that there is no cable to long enough, so... <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I just went to the shop and bought myself a setup link. That was probably very smart. I am very smart. You are very smart. I am indeed, yes. Okay, talk to you soon. Yep. Yeah, so and she disconnected. One person fewer to cover with concealment, which is actually quite convenient. But this is still two kilometers after dark, dark in the Warrens, so we might want to take a car anyway. Mm -hmm. We're definitely not going there by foot. But we need a data tap. Anybody has one? A uh, taco chat? Data tap. Mm -hmm. Let me check my bags. If we don't have one, we might have to run over to the... Well, we're standing in front of it. Yeah, and uh, do some negotiate. <laughs> it's an expensive shit. Yep, no data tap taco. Okay, uh, well, the Are BBs the did get, get you guys a discount on the stuff and you haven't like, taken 2k of your free stuff yet anyway. Yeah, I'm just looking for a data tap in Chummer. Can't find it. Oh, it might not be there because it's 4th edition. <gasps> but we already made it a thing. <laughs> I was just about to start looking too, but... You know, it's, it had a different name in 4th edition. Let me just check. It says Electronics. Either way, is Alan going to need to flex his negotiation? 
say that half as a joke because I rolled terrible. That's that's okay. You still have more dice than any of us. Yeah, I think so too. I have I can contribute. Do you want to get No, we have two k of free gear from the BBs, and we took <laughs> uh, someone bought something, so I think it's like. Eight. Yeah, there is a microwave link actually that that would be perfect. It's two hundred million, and there is an optical tap for a hundred million that would also work. I mean, all right, what? So let's. So that's like three hundred. I mean, one or the other, and uh, you do have two k of uh, gear you can get for free, so. Well, it's possible that the guy has jammers set up everywhere around, so... Yeah, you can either get... Uh, three options would work uh, if you connect your comlink with a radio capacity. Mm -hmm. I you have can... a satellite link in my comlink. That's perfect. You can connect that with the dash and then use laser ri link, microwave link or an optical cable to connect whatever you want. What? And that laser would work. link costs 25 million. But we do have money, so that's not a problem. Yeah. And we don't know exactly what we're connecting it to yet. True. Uh, we can just get all of them. You can get all of them, and you can get all of them for free, so... Yeah, I think that's... that's, that's what... I think what we're going to do, because that... You know, we don't know which one we're going to need, so get... Yeah. Uh, microwave link might be the only unavailable thing, because... Right. You have laser links are readily available everywhere, and microwave and optical links are probably going to be waiting for a couple of hours for the guys to make them, basically. Can I make it? Uh, yeah, it's gonna take time, though. And you can get one for free. I mean, if we can get them for, like, already, then yeah, There's it's just nothing stopping us. Well, the BBs did say they're going to help you, and you have 2k of stuff you can get for the, for free from the market. So I guess I'm the just going to ask the can... person buying them to give me an edge roll to see if there is one readily available on the market or not. Because if not, you're gonna have to make the availability roll to see how long it's going to take to get one. The only other thing I could think of that we might want to get are some. Uh some UV goggles. I, I know you, you, that some of you already got that. Uh, I didn't pick any up. Neither did. Why do we? Why do we need? Uh, because uh, it uh, ultraviolet light doesn't disturb concealment. It doesn't. Because it's not visible, so it uh, doesn't break concealment. Concealment isn't broken per se when you make light or anything, but it does uh, like stop working. If somebody is aware of your presence and you can't really hide light, so... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up, I think. Yeah, so let me All see. Alright, so... Uh, actually, that, that that's super expensive. Uh, uh, we could, uh, that should come out of our own pockets, I think. Yeah, you can get it after the, after the game. There's gonna be a lot of Because the, the UV mod is two grand by itself. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start. Yeah, you're gonna get paid for the job later, so you can get it if you want. I definitely want that optical tap, you know? Everything else is more communication okay. from node to nodes, and that's fine, and their laser rings are, links are immune to radio frequency jamming. Yeah, but the optical tap you can just basically plug into into your own com link and then yes. connect with Dash via sat link, and uh, she can just uh, hack from home. That's exactly what I need then. Yeah, okay. Uh, who's going to get it? It's not expensive, but it might not be available. So whoever is going to get it uh, should give me a edge roll instead of a negotiation, just to, because you are going to get it for free, even more than one if you want. It's just like, edge is not my thing. Uh, I have three of it. Then roll. You, I just do. It's a question of... Uh, Generally, whether it's actually available or not, because there is no such thing as supply lines. So. Yeah, like, you go uh, to the nearest uh, peddler of electronics to see if they got uh, 
optical tabs and he says, yeah, 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 yeah. Typical now, just drop the couple. You can get them at me. Easy peasy. And yeah, I know Bunny told uh, you're the guys with Bunny, right? Yeah, 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 I'm sure of that. So yeah, Bunny said that uh, you can get whatever you need for free. So how many you want? I got like 10. Well, you're gonna take it back, so I'm okay with just one. So, uh, Chewy, how many you need? Uh, let's take, let's take two. Hey, two optical uh, links right for you. Come by any time. And I hope next All time right, you're buddy. gonna be a paying customer, because remember, you know, Jimmy's got the best goods. And also, you know, BBs are gonna pay me for that tap anyway. Yeah. So are you sure you don't want all ten? Maybe you want a uh, toaster. I have a toaster. Do you have a toaster? I do have a toaster. Want two? Uh, do you want two toasters? Two toasters are better than one. You can take a friend and make toast wars. We'll talk kitchen appliances later, man. I got ideas. Okay. Uh, yeah. But yeah, seriously, BBs are paying. Take all of my stuff. <laughs> Yeah, he has a lot of various electronic junk, so which is probably not working. He's very... Yeah. Okay, if you, all you want is those... Uh, does, he, does he have a pair of thermo goggles? An old edge. That's a more difficult thing to have, so that's gonna need two hits from you if he, if he has any. Nope. Nope. I got a one. Yep. He's got goggles, but not uh, not with a thermal mod. Eh, it's okay. They're they're cheap and within the budget, but uh, and and useful. Uh, yeah. I'm just looking to see if I need. Yeah. Just, that's just what I'm doing. Okay, but uh, if I you... don't, I don't think so. There's not much here. That... No, well, too bad. Come back anytime. You know, Jim's got the best electronics. That's what they're famous for all over the UC. Yes, that's uh, where they came from. Yeah, my name's Billy, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure their previous owners are still looking for them. Well, I hope he's not looking for them too, well, because I can't be asked to move. Yeah, no, that's pretty sweet spot. Come on, guys, let's play brawl. So, where are you yeah. guys going now? Uh, we're gonna go uh, knock on the puppet. I mean, no, 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 okay. no, no, knock, okay. Let's just snoop, snoop around. Because I'm pretty sure he has some surprises set up, like around his house. Okay, so yeah. you guys we are knock, going we to get be drawn. arriving from the north. Mm -hmm. I would suggest everybody like pack up your stuff. Yeah. If you want to shoot somebody later, but let's just try do some like subtle recon before we go in guns blazing and grenades exploding. Because we're gonna die. Alright. Um, Grenades. I, we always forget to buy more party favors. Alright. I mean, I have smoke grenades and what? Okay, uh, let me just describe the situation. You leave after you get ready and get everything you need. Oh no, the camera doesn't have sight. One second. Uh, I'm gonna have to put the camera on the... Just the... Uh, uh, Quick note to GM, uh, Taser is in quick draw, and I'm talking about what holster. Yeah, yeah, sure. And the actual actual pistols and concealed. Okay, just let me put the camera onto uh, where the camera is supposed to be. Uh, all right, that's the wrong computer. I'm thinking, why doesn't it work?
There we go. Okay. Uh, don't. So. Yeah, yeah. You can uh, totally take an hour before uh, of breather before you go. I was just setting up a camera. I assume you guys are taking your all of your stuff. And yeah, Mac, uh, Mac also, uh, also, Mac, if you would roll double your willpower to get rid of your three stuns, or see how many you got rid of, that's uh, six dice. Oh, it's, it's body plus willpower. For stuns? Mm -hmm. Alright, body plus willpower, sorry. My bad. That's uh, still six dice. And you have two stuns, so you don't have the negative modifier anymore. Okay, after an hour and gathering yes, your stuff, you leave in uh, Taco's car going uh, north, I mean, southeast from the uh, best western to the location. It's pretty dark, there is no such thing as uh, like street lights in the Warrens, it's completely pitch black. I know. I'm gonna t tell about it. It's completely pitch black except for the uh, little zeppelin floating above your head. It's just uh, being uh, a Fuji Electronics commercial. That's the only thing lighting up the city for you except for your car's lights. Uh, you have uh, a otherwise pretty chill night. There is no wind, there is only just like a cover of clouds above the city that makes it completely pitch dark, pitch black and you can't even see the moon. So, you have to find your way to the location you were going to. Taco, you're the driver. It should be... Everybody sees it? It's in the upper left corner, your car. And No, I can't see. Alright, because... Uh, I'm blind. I can see stuff. I can not. Yeah, I'm going to uh, enable... Just one second. This is it. And this character is Alan Save. How about now? It's in the upper left corner. Upper left now, it's still completely blocked. Uh, press F5 and refresh the site. Question. Um, should I... Well, sorry, question what? Uh, should I be able to see this bloom thing? Yes, it's the beam that I described above the city. I'm just waiting for Alan to see if he has sight now. I also... And no sight. I can ping still, but there... Uh... Oh! Yeah, the... Taco's car should be visible for everybody, and the light from the blimp and the blimp itself. I can't actually see the car. It's right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I can see the very. Far. Oh, you you can see you can see only the light, not the car itself. So I'm going to Taco. I'm going to give control over the. Hmm. I can't. Yeah, so you guys will only see Taco's uh, car lights. Taco is the only person seeing his car. That's fine. Because of uh, just general roll 20 being roll 20. Uh, roll 20. Yeah, I think roll 20 is like 20 years old. Yeah, it, it might be. So yeah, generally uh, the car has headlights and uh, you will be able to see the headlights going on. You sit inside the car, so you will know where it is, and uh, there is a blimp who everybody should be able to see. Mm -hmm. Alan, you got that? Do I? Huh? Is it okay if I... Uh, uh, if I like, cut off a little bit when he was... 
Yeah, I was asking Alan if you see the blimp and the little triangle on the top left of it. I see the uh, blimp thing and the little... Okay, yeah, so you have the same site as everybody else. And uh, you, the other person was asking? Mac is still... Yeah. But why? I... Why is Mac still blind? Why? I don't know. Maybe his token isn't connected. I'm gonna check. Yep. How about now, Mac? <laughs> Yes, yeah, they have, you guys have tokens on the bottom uh, of the screen, because otherwise you would not be able to see anything, and your token just got randomly disconnected. That makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. I, I have a separate page on which I hold tokens for your characters, and sometimes when I copy it, uh, it just uh, loses the settings. Uh, do the same for me, please. Yep, yep, yep. That's uh, Taco, right? Chewy. Chewy. Whoops. Whoops. No, it, now you have Taco's token. Boop. That's Taco. And uh, that's Chewy. Everybody, everybody good now? Yep. Okay, so feel free to drive. The city is then the roads are generally covered with rubble. There is nobody in on your side unless you see something. Just the question is, do you know where you're going? It's dark as heck. We do know where we're going. I literally have a map sort. Good. Well, then coordinate yourselves, guys. And uh, move like maybe 10, 15 squares at a time so I like I can tell you what's happening. I highly suggest we link our fields of vision. For I. That means we're sitting in the same car. Yeah. So, I'm just thinking. Yeah. We could go just down the road. It's it used to be East Louisiana Drive, and technically this road doesn't really connect to anything, like. It's just a drive, so it goes up north later. Uh, but we might be able to cut it between the buildings. I mean, it's possible that it's just trouble there. Yeah. Uh... Squatters. Okay, so yeah, you have some... Uh, you In the area you are in right now, you have some light tossed down by the blimp. So you can pretty much make your way before the old ruined uh, low rent burb apartments and uh, the roll perception home ground applies yes i forgot home ground then. okay Wait, how does home ground work? It gives you two, two more Close. dice if you have it. It's a quality. Uh, I... Alan does I'm not have it. That too. And that... Correct? I... Just a second, guys, because something is uh, interrupting the connection on my end. Okay, should be good now. Just look at how much I need to roll. Uh, it's uh, your perception dice pool, so let me just tell you. It was uh, six or seven dice, if I recall correctly. Which was seven, Alan. Okay. Okay, uh, so everybody, uh, you can oh, wow. see that uh, the area is pretty ransacked. You can see uh, the signs of activity here recently, but uh, nobody's actually in your way right now. So how do you get off the Louis East Louisiana Drive? How how do I get yeah. Up there? Yeah, because the road turns back to the north. Uh... How far off are we from the building anyways? We probably don't want to get 
closer than a block or two away, right? Well, you're pretty far away still. Uh, maybe. Depends on the, your map. We are 375 meters away from the, that house, so... Technically, you can cut it like right in front of you between those two buildings. Like, yeah, I might cut between those buildings. Yeah. And then, if you get to this road, it just follows straight east and it will get you to the puppeteer's hideout. Although, you may want to, you know, stay kind of further away because there might be mines. And uh, give me a pilot uh, ground craft test for the passing through that uh, rubble covered uh, yards like i would put well mines here i'll take it yeah okay taco you can uh, uh, make it to the other side to the street uh, you manage to your car gets uh, uh, is kind of heavy and armored so you pretty much crush all the old uh, flamingos and uh, gnomes and bones and the uh, dead rats that are lying down on the on the grass yard. You cut through the rubble, through the bricks, and abandoned equipment, and just blow your way through. I assume that you didn't put concealment on the car. Repeat that. I assume you didn't put concealment on the car, Mark, because oh uh, no, we're, that, this that thing is be... obvious as AF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just yeah. people for now. Yeah, uh, there's nothing stealthy about this thing. Nothing stealthy indeed. And you managed to make it to the street on the other side. Where to now? Streets aren't uh, that much e easier to drive on than like the actual, uh, you know, grass yard that you just cut, but it's slightly better. Right. I'll, I'll stop here. It's like, do you want me to drive this way? Pointing down the street. Uh, I mean, that's old Arkansas Avenue and it technically goes all the way up to Puppeteer's hideout so you may want to not go all up there but maybe if we like went to here tomorrow's pointing on like hollow projection of the map soft and just hit somewhere here because his house is around there okay I'll let me drive up to the next intersection I mean, guys, keep your eyes open because there were really some suspiciously even cracks on the road in front of his house. So that that whole street might be kind of mine or just how, how fast affection. are you going? Oh, I'm um, I'm creeping maybe at ten miles per hour. Would you mind terribly if I hopped out and rode on your hood? Don't scratch my paint, my man. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, and don't fall off and. <laughs> I'm gonna ride shotgun on his hood and just you know look out for traps and. Okay, roll perception then. Okay, uh, so you see a thin line. You, you, you only noticed it because of the light uh, from the blimp and the fact that you have low light vision. You see something reflected from like 20, half a meter above the ground in like two meters in front of the car. It's like the combination I, of I, light I, I, from I, the... You don't know exactly. It's like a combination of light from the blimp and from your car and with your low, innate low light vision. Uh, you, you know like you have sometimes a spider web uh, in the air and you kind of see reflection of light on it? It's kind of like that. Like two meters uh, in front I'll of the car. I'll uh, whack the quarter panel and, and, and hold up my fist. Alright, I'll stop the car there. I'm gonna, um, I look at the line, try to find the uh, either end of it. Okay, so uh, you get off from the, uh, you get off from the car, yes? So, Alan. Alan, yes, go on. Alan peeks out and pretty much just asks if he needs. Uh, y'all might want. Y'all may want to get under that concealment. Oh shit! Yeah. Um. Good point. Uh, yeah. Uh, 
Crap. Um. Well, should I try to? Should I cut? No. Why would you? You find another way around. It's okay. I mean, we can park here, and then we can just like get moved there by a spirit. Or walk. I mean, if we were only planning to go to there, it's hey, only another here. park or two, right? But, like, there is no reason for us to walk that ground. And also, why is there a freaking blimp here? It's surveillance from Puppeteer. Uh, you can see that uh, the, the blimp displays a whole picture of some old Japanese guy uh, with a comic book sound and sometimes like that it, it's high, it's very high but you can see kind of like booming voice from above footy 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 for your computer yeah see that drone i'm pretty yeah. sure that isn't supposed to be here so why don't we just pretend we're not here do you want me to shoot down that drone i can shoot down that drone god no why <laughs> come on i have a heavy machine gun i don't <laughs> get the part or uh, light machine gun I have a machine gun. You don't get the fire machine gun, I drone every day. Guys, it's Wait, a, stealth, a... Mi stealth mission. Am I the only oh. person who understands what a stealth mission is? We are currently under observation by a blimp, and we're trying to I... surprise a rigger. So I'll look at my um. Connect I'll look the at dots. My... Yeah, I'll look at my car. I... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I, I was going to say, I'm not attempting to be loud, it's just... He, he's a, a, a dude with a machine gun. I mean, I, I, I understand the masculine impulse there. <laughs> well, I don't. So do I, but this is a stealth mission. Jesus, let's like move away from wherever this blimp can see us and conceal ourselves and move ourselves there by magic because at the moment we're under observation because we're trying to hit a rigorous place. And we're being observed by a giant hey. blimp. Who is everyone back? Should be already like put into scrap by people living around here. Well, the blimp is very high, very high above the ground. So, uh, what are you guys gonna do? Sounds like we're parking and proceeding without the car. Okay, give me a second, guys. So it's been. Uh, you are driving, you are saying slowly. Uh, you should, you guys should be seeing another set of lights right now in front of, in front of you, above the blimp. Above the blimp? I mean, I'm gonna just put the blimp back to its rotation. You should see a set of light in front of you and you can, you can't really hear it, but uh, you know, there is another moving vehicle. All right. Um, and you can see the lights start... being cast onto the street ahead of uh, far away from you. I think we should scamper up on top of one of these buildings and see what we. Mac, can you get them like moving? And I'm gonna go and scout ahead. And also, did you put the Where concealment on the car, or are you just backing off? Because I kind of want to know. Well, I originally put the concealment on before we decided we were at the car, so probably not. Okay, so the concealment is on you, not on the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So I'm going to make myself into a bot and just escape through a window. Hopefully on the other side from the blimp so it doesn't see me. Okay, give me a second. Uh, I had your... I'm gonna give you your raven icon, though. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yep. And but you are bot. The location. They do. That's and why I that's, switched. that's uh, tomorrow. Who has sight in 360 because the collocation. Bop. How is that for a dollar? Oh. That's a very good sound for what I just saw. <laughs> Okay, I'm loving being a bot. Like the only the only person you can communicate with is your spirit who can astrally relay a message to somebody. That's like the only way of communication you have with others. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna leave Elemental with the guys because I'm not going far away, so it's still within range. Yep. And just to work as a information between me and them. Yep. Alright, so are the rest of us just get out of the vehicle. I think that's fine. So, what are you guys doing? Assuming we're under concealment. Yeah. You want to get out okay. of the vehicle? Aye. Just give me a sec. Pop. I have three tokens. You should, guys should be seeing your own tokens in front of the car now. I, yep. have, I have somebody missing though. Uh, my toe. Thank you. I have Alan, I have Mac, and I have uh, Taco, so I don't have Chewy. Where did you go, Joey? I see. I saw me uh, moving around. Yeah, uh, your token is somewhere. I'm right. In front of oh, you have you have Chewie's token assigned to me. What? Yeah, I can't move myself. Somebody. Yeah, I'm moving you. Uh, where though? In front of the. Oh, well, this is Taco. Chewie had the other orc. No, I'm, oh yeah, I'm okay. I got you. you. I got you. You were under tomorrow's token. <gasps> How is that for a dollar works? You should be seeing yourselves, everybody. I'm. I'm good. Looks good. I can see myself. I can. May I mention I'm the only guy who's not. I'll fix it. And I can't move. I. I still don't. But that's okay. I don't care. That, well, I want you to control your own token. You should be able to control it. Okay, so can everybody move their tokens now? No, I have Taco's token and Taco had uh, Taco. So you messed up the portraits. I'm the guy with the good hair. <laughs> <laughs> Are we supposed to have, like, individual vision? Yes. Don't you? Because when I go when I go into the dark area, I can't actually see Oh, it. okay. My bad, my bad. That's because I gave you sight, but I didn't give you range. Now it, now it should be working. Okay, so uh, Chewie should be right here. Yeah, you, I see you move your token now. Is it the wrong token? The north token is Taco. Okay, well, switching now. Oops. And the south token is Chewy. Whoop. Whoop. There you go, fixed. Yep. Okay, uh, so move yourselves. Uh, everybody can move, like, let's say. Uh, Six, uh, four tires at a time, so I can I have time to describe what's happening and move other tokens. Okay, so you're going through the streets um, and you're like... slowly needing the line that you spotted. Yeah, uh, flag. Before we go, I put one of those um, low jack things. Okay. Guys, we got incoming from the south. Looks like some gangers. There's still like some space away, but they're closing in, so you may want to hide. And Taco, you may want to like get your car out of there. Uh. Can't you like pilot it from afar? Okay, so uh, uh. Every everybody move one at a time and like three tires, except for tomorrow who's flying, so she can move like six. So I have, so we can sort of move in turn based base because there is like a lot of things happening. Okay, so you guys moved forward from the car. Uh, tomorrow's spirits relayed an information in her own voice, coming to, out of an ethereal uh, air with some floating symbols around it. And then I can see that Taco oh. started running back to the car. Guys hid. And uh, you can kind of hear like the engines and 
closing in and the uh, one engine moving away from you and move the token. Okay, other other than that it's very dark. So next turn, guys. Everybody can move. Okay. Uh, seven tires forward tomorrow. Hello, whoever decided to come. Okay, guys, move over here. You can hear uh, everybody who is hiding roll infiltration. Taco, uh, you are starting the car, I understand. All right. Yep, everybody gives me an infiltration. Me too? No, you're a bat. <laughs> I am a bat. waiting for everyone you guys have concealment I just want to like know Jeez, these rolls. yeah I'm not going to roll for the gangers because they have no chance of actually detecting you you can see four bikes uh, that are made up from some weird uh, collection of spare parts and spikes uh, attached to them with some guns and a couple of uh, ransacked and malnourished looking gangers driving by looking around but they didn't notice you very good okay guys you guys a turn i'm up follow the car mm -hmm. they're a bit too close still so i'm just gonna let them keep going okay And the rest of you? Yeah, I'm, in fact, my car is off. I'm just yeah. be uh, as quiet, but have ready. Yep, uh, your light is then imaginary. Alan's not... Alan's just standing where he is. Okay. And the car stopped in front of uh, where tomorrow can see it, probably. Mm -hmm. Well, if we're out of turn base, I'm gonna just fly over. If not, I'm gonna fly over there slowly. Yes, fly over there slowly. Gangers are slowly leaving, uh, letting you guys move. And... Uh, okay. But, Taco, roll perception. And yeah, you, uh, the gangers' bikes, you can hear their engines rolling, uh, going quieter in the distance. So they, they are clearly moving away from you. And uh, rolling per tomorrow also roll perception for me, please. I'm a bat. Yeah, I know. So we got two more dice than usual. That ain't much, but it's on the story. Yeah, you can see that the car doors open for a moment and then it leaves going off to the east. But, and uh, somebody left and uh, jumped underground. Okay, I'm gonna relay that information to my pals. Okay, and uh, you guys, without any additional issues, should be able to get uh, to the house just give me a second I need to set stuff up I got a question yeah so Sax found the 
a map of sewers and whatever in the warrens. Yep. Uh, did that map cover this part of the area as well? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, and you guys should be now being on the next map. Just let me put the camera in position. And your car is uh, off the map, and uh, everybody, you can, you should have your tokens down there. I'm just going to see if they're all connected as they should be. Of course, they aren't. Okay, so that's Allen. Uh, tomorrow, does your token work? Yeah. Okay, so I don't know why it's the only token that works always. Oops, let me check mark. Max token also disconnected. Pop. And uh, Taco should be operational now. Okay, so you can approach the house from whichever direction you want. Just put yourself somewhere on the edge. That is uh, comfy for you. You want your back, back token? I was thinking... If okay, Alan's gonna come back in a moment. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking if the guy jumped underground and there's sewer system underneath and we have a map of that sewer system, is there a way I can cut off his... Like, he's probably gonna get back to that house. So there might be some sewer entrance between where he went in and his house that I could, like, jump in and cut him off. Yeah, the, on the... Welcome back, Alan. There should there are a lot of entrances uh, on the main road, just north mm -hmm. of the building. So that's that's it. I'd like to do that. Okay, you you can just hover yeah. over them and wait to see if he comes out of any. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just like hover over one of those and use echolocation to notice if he's like passing down the, down there. Okay, that works. Just give me a second to restart the music. And I'm back. Nah, they used just I... uh, one declaration from tomorrow. We waited for you. Okay, am I... Uh, am I here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys can just uh, put... Uh, you can put your tokens with the rest if you are with them. Basically, you can approach the building from whichever direction you want. Can I drive my car over here? Is that not... Uh, yeah, you can. You should have a token for it on the bottom. Just Alan calls out. I don't want to bring it too close. Uh, don't speak at the same time, please. Alan, you go first. Uh, Alan calls out. To... I, I yeah. It cut off after Alan calls out. I don't know where. To watch out for the miles. Alan. Okay. Mines. Mines. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, what are doing? You guys arrive at the house. It looks completely empty. Lights are dark. Uh, you have like enough of a uh, illumination to get some visibility to know what's going on. I'm not gonna put darkness on top of it again. How do you wanna get to it? There are two cars parked in front of the house. Other than that, it's uh, dark, silent, not a peep. Right, uh, let me guys, let me remind you guys, uh, the yard looks like somebody dug through it and not that fu that long ago. There are regular cracks in the uh, street and on the side walkway to the house, probably something underneath there too. If you notice there are some darker spots on the walls, probably hidden cameras or, detec or motion detectors. And the roof outside of solar panels is covered in electrified net, according to the dead birds on it. So, I don't think I'm missing anything, but I might have missed something when I was doing the scouting here. And I'm like keeping an eye, I mean an ear, to see if the guy's coming back down the sewers. Letting the guys work. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah. Uh, how do you want to do this? Just, you know, you got to say, come out, come out, wherever, you know, we want. Might get drones. Um, uh, are, you know, 
reach and yeah listen guys uh the dude probably gonna get back in back or maybe not anyway the guy went in uh, underground into the sewers we have sewers map so if you want to check that out and okay I'm got uh, iron, I can I can set up with that radio detection and like get it kind of hacked with dash how does that work maybe you'll catch the guy just like careful with mines and shit yeah, I mean, I'm more than willing to chase him through the, the, the suit. Yeah, because whatever Dash, Dash is doing is going to take a couple of minutes, so... You do the active thing and I'm going to plug into the cable. Yep, but uh, right now everybody is standing on the street in front of the building, except for tomorrow who is hovering on the street above, waiting for the guy to come out of the sewers. Yeah, so uh, I guess... I We'll go over, over to the sewer entrance. I don't really know okay. where that is on the uh, map. Alan, roll perception. It's dark, so uh, you have uh, a silent negative modifier, but roll your normal perception. Alan. Just roll. Yeah, I'm here. Yep. I just keep forgetting that I have a push. Yep, <laughs> happens to me too. I think it's seven. Yeah, it was seven. Yep, your perception was seven. You can't see anything uh, out of the ordinary, just a yep. normal quiet building. Guys, I heard. Uh, yeah, go on. Hey, tomorrow, can you make me something? I can't, Matt can. I used my spirit, like elemental's favor, to talk to you guys who I'm a butt. So, I am a giant butt. So, talk to Matt. I think he was asking for a shape change. Oh, yeah, can do that. But you can do movement, and it's gonna be much more useful. Only have one more service on the spirit, though. Yeah. I mean, a little uh, a combination of the two would be awesome. But I'm not gonna ask you to waste but all that resource. Yeah, on no, the, sure. On the chains. What you wanna be? Uh, um, large dog, fox, I don't know. Uh, Chummer, you, you're, <laughs> watch you get changed to something weird like a, uh, uh, I have a better idea. Or a cheetah, I like a yeah, cheetah. Yeah, what's your body? Because I have options based on that. Just give me a second, the uh, Chewie's body is uh, four. Yeah. How about a gorilla? I was thinking like a tiger. I mean, sure, I can make you a cheetah. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just cast the force one shape change because it can't be bothered that much. Okay. So the spell's gonna land because I have like 14 dice. Yeah, but go ahead and roll and uh, drains as well. Sure. Extra hits are, are, are all. Yeah, not if I'm casting the first one, then it only counts one hit. Boom, you're a Yeah, uh, Chewie, uh, the butt touches you. And you can feel you kind yourself kind of changing, and you feel like you grow larger and more muscular and uh, a little more hairy. You are now a gorilla. No, he's a cheetah. A cheetah. I wanted him to be a gorilla, but he wanted to be a cat. Okay, sorry, I, I didn't hear him being wanting to be a cat. Something must have interrupted. Okay. So you can feel your body change and shift until you have a body of a big cat. 
Awesome. You got body of six and agility of six and reaction of five and strength of five. And you run at the speed of 80 meters per turn. Heck. I mean, yeah. So I want to go chase down our, 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 our dude. In the we don't know what he is, though. I understand the sentiment, but he went into a sewer and uh, nobody knows where he is right now because like, you have no means of tracking him out underground. Yeah. Does my, my character experience, does, does would the wireless signal to my fly spy work? Uh, yeah, you can control your fly spy through your RCC. I don't want to lose a fly spy. I'll be really sad. <laughs> Where do you want it to go? Mm, yeah, I'll deploy it and I'll just fly it down the sewers. And... Okay. So I'm not going to put the token. You can just... Uh, the fly spy flies to the sewers and... Uh, you can basically see darkness and some tiny rat footsteps. And uh, yeah, it's the main collector goes into the street above, so it's like a meter and a half in uh, radius. And it doesn't seem like anybody human sized is anywhere nearby, unless you count that alligator that takes like, dips in the sewer. <laughs> it's not an alligator, really. But it is a croc. Oh, fun. Uh, so yeah, I'll rail to your team. Hey, I don't see anyone in the sewers. I think, let's knock on the door and if he leaves the sewers. Uh, okay, so what do you guys do? Uh, I'm telling someone the team, I, the team, I don't see anyone in the sewers. Let's knock on the door and see if he, that flushes the Okay, come to the door then. And tomorrow, where are you even? Oh, roll perception. Mm. Alan is kind of wary about the fact of mines still. Yeah, so the person knocking at the door kind of has to come to the building. The door is here. I'll say, uh, I'll say, everyone stand clear. I'm going to pull the door. I'll slowly start creeping my car forward. Okay. If you need something to blow up, I can blow up something. Uh, tomorrow you do not really see much of uh, a way to plug stuff in, but you do see disturbed ground in like here. In so many places or moving? No, in so many different places, like some something is the barrel under there. Uh-huh. And that thing that stands between me and the puppeteer's building? Is it you like mean a trash can? Is it a trash can? Yes, yes, it's a, it's a giant trash bin. Oh. And... Oh. Is it a walking trash can now? No. After I cast Mass Animate. Oh, then yes. <laughs> but uh, cast it. I'm gonna cast uh, it. Taco, stop right there. The tomorrow yeah. is... Uh, uh, Alan, you too. Tomorrow is casting a spell, and then we will deal with you. It doesn't look like there are any cables going from under that trash can or anything, right? You can't see from what's under the trash can from the roof where you're yeah. standing, but yeah, cast that yeah. mass animate. I'm gonna cast that mass animate, and I'm not gonna like touch it yet. It's just gonna be cast, and I'm casting it okay. at force three. Should be enough. Well, I got. Three hits, and let me check what's the drain of that. I think it's plus three, so that would be four drain. Okay. Meanwhile, Taco, you can feel free to roll twen nice. 12 dice for me. 12 dice. That can't be good. Might be. Yeah, I'm gonna edge that. <laughs> okay. You might win. Is 12 equal to the car's armor by chance? Um. Uh, okay, so you got six hits. Yeah. Da 
Uh, I thought that was way smaller than I was thinking it's gonna be. Pretty so, sure you can uh, stretch to it. Very. Yeah, I did. So you rode in something that is a small explosion in front of your car, whoosh, lifting it up, and then it falls heavily back on the wheels. It's still operational, but uh, you your car took six damage. It wasn't a big charge. Probably best idea to not. Uh, Alan saying this, by the way, probably not the best idea to keep. Uh, I mean, it's the up armored car. It's okay. And I guarantee you, he knows something's up now. But why are you even going there? Yeah, we may have last lost ours. Whoop. Well, anyway, have the door covered by a machine gun. So, if guys want to knock on it, they'll be safe. Oh, boy. I vote Chewy. I can uh, give you a little bit extra protection if you want. I forgot to hit the, the push to talk button again. Yeah. I'm um, gonna hop down out of the tree, uh, uh, bound uh, uh, from the car and in through a window. Okay, uh, Chewy, can you talk, show, can you move your token backwards again because I wanna see which way you went. Oh, that's right. Yeah, just the same way you you came here because I wanna see. I, I was originally standing. In okay, the yeah. Street. Okay, yep. There we go. Stand right here. Okay. And I hopped up into the tree. Yeah, 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 but uh, you were... Point when you the sidewalk, it, something. Yeah. yeah, it's like, in this exact place, boom, roll yourself uh, body with the, your armor minus uh, four. Give me a second. Well, I'm, I'm a cat currently, so I don't oh, have Oh, you don't armor. have any armor, so just roll your body. Of six, uh, I recall for correctly. A, it was six. Yes, as, as, a, as a cheetah, you had a body of six. Yep. Roll away. Well, you took 10 yeah. damage. So the explosion tossed uh, Chewy upwards into the sky. Oh, 1, 3, 6, 10. Oop. So the explosion tossed Chewy up into the sky like a, like a ragdoll and he went unconscious. So does the spell, is the spell still on him? I mean, it's still there until I dismiss it. Yep. So uh, the cat just flew up into the sky and fell heavily onto the ground uh, after the explosion hit it. It was uh, all generally uh, ripped to little uh, with, skin, with its skin ripped to little pieces in places and. Uh, There we go. Are you guys insane? And he fell onto the street right around here, unconscious. Uh, the only reason I why he didn't take any uh, like over damage and uh, started to bleed out is because he's currently a cut form with one more hit point than he does have. Well, I'm clearly not taking I'll... down that spell. Alan, go on. Uh, I have a. Uh... Alan's first reaction after seeing um, him just go flying is first of all face palming, second of all getting his medic, getting his medical thing out. Okay. A radio to a team. Do you guys want to suppress some fire on this house so we can get him? We're still under concealment, except for the no, cat. not anymore because explosions. So concealment yeah. kind of ended. That... Meanwhile, is it only? Uh, does that end for? Yeah, does it end on everybody? No, just on, just on the person who's flying over the, uh, over the rainbow. <laughs> yeah, so unless something starts shooting at the ba almost dead cat, I don't see there's any reason to shoot. Uh, and Jack, Alan, you have four dice for first aid. Uh, I also have a medical kit. Yeah, yeah. So I'd apply the bonus for the, from its rating. Which was? It's just one. Yeah, that's. Uh... Plus three from the med kit. Yep. So what is that dice wise? I didn't hear what you said. I had first. Uh, Extra seven dice, dice total. The... You have seven dice total. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, so uh, you start a triage on the cat. You're not a veterinarian, but you kind of guess the point that uh, where he's bleeding, it probably shouldn't. And when there are pieces of concrete and metal sticking out of the body, that's probably not very healthy. So you start removing and bandaging. Well, the good news is that if Chewie comes back to his normal form, he's gonna have like he's not gonna immediately die. I'm gonna add a heal spell to that as well. Force. Okay. I thought I was had just taken stun. No, that was a full. Okay, that, well, was a, that was a pretty nice heal spell. That's uh, two. Okay, uh, after uh, a couple of like 15 seconds or so. Yes? Uh, roll for drain for me, also, Mac. I'm not sure if it healed five or uh, six, whether uh, it's it, based it, on the force or that. Uh, this is just based but on the, the force, so you are go uh, he's still going to have four damage. So I healed five. Yeah. He's and then uh, the drain is damage value minus two, so I should be uh, resisting. Yep. Okay. Just. Yep, yep. That was definitely better than my first. So that's gonna take like 30 seconds? Yep. So this is uh, the magical uh, light is illuminating the cut and you can see the wounds are be closing each other and the bleeding stops and it starts breathing uh, still with pain but more regularly and that's the best i can do uh can we try and wait um i mean the, the cat might may wake up right now uh, what, is it, what would that be like? Willpower? No, you just you can just wake up. You're healed to the point where you are no longer unconscious. Re uh, question: Do I get rid of this med kit or? No, you can see it has uh, like no, it doesn't have one charge. You can keep using it. It just has basic okay, supplies okay, like just... bandages and antiseptic and uh, stuff like that, but it doesn't run out. Okay, Mag uh, now ha should have uh, three stuns again. Uh. So that's minus one to things you are doing in the future. And what are you guys up to? Uh, how how negative am I? You oh, also I have minus know. one to everything with four damages. Right, so our surprise is gone. Uh, Twice over. So yeah, yeah. Back to uh, to tree car car. Are you well? Okay. Do you want to die? Like seriously? You can't really understand him in cut form, though. Before before he decides to do that, I kind of just once he wakes up, I face palm and he's just like, "Do you you legitimately want to?" I mean, he can't. Alan understands that, but he's just, he's kind of annoyed. Right. So, as we no longer have any kind of surprise, I'm gonna try our luck and move that garbage bin a bit. Okay. The... While, like, moving myself back. Just in case it blows up, like, everything around there. Wait a second. There you go. The trash can is yours. Nice. I always wish to have a trash can. I move it like the slightest amount, yeah, like the 10 trash, centimeters. The trash can moves like slowly. Corner, then lifts the other corner, then lifts the third corner, then the fourth, and it like moves like a big lazy cut. I'm gonna like so the trash inside just like rolls over. It. To the side until something happens. Do it then. What are the what are the rest of you guys doing? I'll move back. Okay. And uh, tomorrow stop. I stopped. 
I mean, if I see any cables. Yeah, you move the trash, and there's like a <laughs> an exp explosion, and the trash can flies through the air, and two these two damaged drones fall out of fall out of it. Nice. Jesus, I hate this place. And it just falls to the side. All right. So I'm gonna set up that freaking scanner that we brought here for a stealth mission and scan the radio signal and plug in dash into it. Hey, look at the bright side. They'll, they'll definitely have something to chat about on the radio. There are no bright sides to this situation. None. I told you this freaking place is mined. It was. Why didn't you listen to me? I did. No, you did not. I was trying to stay up. He's a cat also, so you can't really converse. He's meowing at me. Okay. So I'm gonna drop uh, the spell. You know which we know which memes is hap which meme is happening right now, right? Yes. I'm not, I don't even have to say anything. No, you don't have to. I'm pointing at a cat and yelling. <laughs> and the cat's like, Meow, you're not my real mom. I'm dropping the spell on Chewy. And obviously not yelling. Okay. Uh, I'm, yeah, if you're dropping the spell, I'm gonna reach in my bag and grab a stem patch and hit. Okay, yeah, the stem patch isn't gonna help you anymore because you've been. Uh, I mean, it's, you, you're not gonna have the modifier, but that's it. Yeah, that, that's all they do. Yep. Just one second. So, uh, the situation before the uh, spell is dropped is as follows. No, bigger. Uh. Why are you so small? And then <laughs> tomorrow drops the spell and there is Chewy back there again. In his normal form. Uh, Apply the steam pack to feel a little better. And he's his own self. Uh, even though he's uh, slightly worse for wear and smells of burnt fur. That might be hard to get rid of. The smell, I mean. We we did warn you about the mine. Yeah, that's why I was trying to go up a tree. I told you the it whole freaking street is full of landmines. What the hell are you doing? It's... Never mind. I'm setting up that freaking radio scanner and... You guys hold to I... my com link and try to get some connection and I'm gonna try to hunt down that stupid fragger that went underground. I seen him for a moment, maybe in my elemental can search for him. Well, look okay. at it this no. way. Good. No, no. I'm gonna get myself a new Steven. Okay, get yourself a new Steven. I thought you were making a connection with Dashpads though. I mean, yeah, establishing that and okay. testing So, experience. Dash gets connected. Yo, yo, what's up? Stop blowing up in our faces. Oh, would you like some fries with that? Yes, actually. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have I any mean, fries, though. I kind of fried. Oh. That, that, uh, that orc with nice hair. Uh -huh. Oh, no, damn it. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> oh. I know a good barber. I'm a good barber. Oh, okay, then. Well, I know two good barbers in that case. So, I'm setting up the radio detection and plugging you into it and leaving my gear here, so you have connection to the guys. And I'm gonna do a thing. Uh, okay. So, guys, what do you want? What, what do we need? What's going on? Well, I'm basically at the point of throwing a, a note shaped like a paper airplane. Okay. Where? Just try and like fold it up and toss it towards the front door with like a we want to talk. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'm not gonna be an I asshole would... and ask you to roll throwing weapons. The note just flies and lands in front of the door. Nothing happens. Yeah, I figured he's not gonna open it up and check. 
So guys, uh, do you like need something? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Um, will you allow me to default? Oh god, this is a crazy plan. Will you allow me to default on knowledge skill about my mind? Sure. What do you want to know? Uh, well, let me. How defaulting in Sharon Fourth is the same. As yes, there. yes, it goes the same way. I want to specifically know if I unload my whole clip of my machine gun into the ground, will it detonate the landmines? Yeah, we're all for it. Uh, one hit on that. Okay, okay. Uh, it might. <laughs> If it's a no, if it's I'll... if it's a press if it's a pressure pad and the bullet hits the pad then maybe. Hey, I'll take those chances. Uh, so radio the team, it's like, hey, I can clear the landmines if you guys want. This is. We don't want. To... Oh. This is a point where I'm wishing that I have, with that I'm wishing that I had a high explosive instead of fragmentation. I know, right? Actually, can I just study the ground in front of me really closely and see if I see where the landmines are? One second, let me just uh, roll for dash. Okay, dash uh, comes back and says, like, yeah, uh, I got some radio signals coming from inside the house, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. There's like stuff in front of the building and in the yard. Yeah, that's landmines. And is motion detectors. Uh, okay, let me know what else you need. Okay, you have two services on the air elemental. Alan is going to study the sidewalk very, very... Okay, roll perception. Oh, Alan, uh, just a mechanics note in case you want to edge something for the future. Uh, you have to just tell me that you're using edge and then instead of rolling your normal uh, dice pool for the thing, you're rolling the dice pool plus your edge attribute and you select edge on the macro to reroll success. Or you can use edge after the roll to reroll the hit that you didn't get. Also, and before I use edge because of my bad luck thing, I have to roll a dice and it's on a one, like the opposite yep. happens yep. if I'm under the yep. card. Yep, yep, I'm gonna let you do that yourself because like, it's your character, so that's up for you. I, I don't think I found it. Oh, you can use, you can use edge to reroll it, in which case you reroll dice on which you didn't get the hits. So it's gonna be six dice, but you roll your edge one dice first, like a single dice once. So, so, cause I wanna yeah. know. I'm actually going. I'm going to try to edge this and hopefully not. Okay, roll one dice first, and then six. Oh, <laughs> that's a bad. One. Okay, uh, so you are moving to the sidewalk because you are absolutely very closely looking at a building. I mean, at the sidewalk to see if there are any any mines somewhere. Uh, let me just say you found one. <laughs> uh, yeah, generally... This is the best idea. Well, you, you really do have bad luck. So yeah, you have uh, four bodies, so that's four dice, and your armor is... Uh, eight, so you roll for me eight dice right now. Oh, Alan's about... Doesn't he have any armor? He does. It's already including armor. Oh. It dies. And that's uh, seven damage. So. Oh. Okay. Okay. So you step onto onto a mine. You can hear a, a subtle click. Beep, beep, poosh, and a piece of sidewalk explodes, uh, tossing you uh, out to the side. Uh, Good news. I'm. 
and you fall heavily on your back you're conscious it wasn't actually that bad look looking at the chewy situation you were expecting a much stronger explosion but it actually almost felt kind of hella painful you fall heavily on the sidewalk and like uh, your your uh, armored jacket and uh, Kevlar padding in your pants protected you from most of the blast and shrapnel, so you don't actually feel that bad. But you may have go you are gonna have a lot of bruises the next day. You have minus two and to every test back. from now on. Okay, go on. I have a sore back. Alan makes an annoyed sound and then turns to Chewie and says. Yeah, you know what? I don't blame you anymore. They're hard to see where they. Uh, I, I just deadpan at him, man. You know, I, I'm not making it. Let's let's retreat. We're. This isn't. Work. Yeah, I can come back with a, a line, uh, landmine clear, clearing thing. Oh, we can just push that guy, that vehicle over there that's not yours, into the mine. That's, well, that's a, a good idea. I like the idea. Hold on, let's execute that. Okay, give me a second. I, I remember this part where we're not supposed to be assaulting this. Well, that didn't. That's like four explosions before. What you're talking about? Uh, let me just get uh, a white car. I, I think we're officially like on plan F. All fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Alan is mildly pissed at this guy. Oh. There you go. Up. Am I allowed to first aid myself? Yes. Yes, you are. Just you have a modifier of minus two. Okay, so the car now has an icon. It's not gonna disappear okay. from the map because it's a sad picture, but uh, so who wants to pull it? Push it, I mean. I'm probably the strong. Okay. So, Oop, Joey, I was you rolling have six of the dice. Cast. I okay. was rolling six dice. I, I, I'm going to assist uh, uh, Alan and, and tending his hurts. Okay. So that he can uh, defray his, his negative. Okay, so Alan is uh, bandaging his wounds and like he doesn't have much shrapnel but some cuts and bruises. That might be nice to put antiseptic on. And uh, you had... Uh, one second. Alec has uh, five dice. Alan has five dice and... Okay. Uh, and it's actually pre like going pretty good. With that triage, and uh, Mac is now casting spell. Oh, already did. No, that tomorrow. That tomorrow. Well, okay. if you want to roll um, an act. Roll, uh, wait, wait a second. Tomorrow, roll for the uh, spirit double the force for search power. And yeah, go ahead. What does uh, Jewy. I think it's Jewy assisting. I can't remember who's assisting. Uh, Mark is casting a heal spell on you. Uh, tomorrow's oh, elemental you. went into the sewers. Yeah, I'm following. Okay. I just left them there and changed into a bot and flew away. Yep. Not explaining a thing. Uh, so are you flying above the street or under it? Um, above the street at the moment. Okay, and the elementary is in the sewers for uh, well, if chasing it the guy with the search if, power. If it went into the sewers, then yeah. Yeah, it did. Okay. Guys? How much am I healing? Uh, you technically can ignore three, uh, three uh, boxes of damage right now. I'm waiting for max roll. Okay. And uh, you, your wounds uh, close uh, and disappear, the bleeding stops and you feel much better. It's basically you're gonna be bruised for a while, but it seems like you, uh, the magic completely fixed you up. 
together with your triage. Okay. Thank you. And uh, Chewy, for pulling the car, roll me a body plus strength to see if you can make it. Uh, let me click something one second. Can That's I by, uh, 11 dice. Can I help him by uh, using my car? Yes, you can add your uh, pilot ground craft for that. I really don't see how. Yeah, that it's very unlikely that you would, that you guys will fail together. Yep. Uh, uh, even without the car pushing at uh, it uh, from the side and helping you, you can basically pretty easily push that car around. There is a handbrake, but it, it doesn't stop you two guys working together. You can move that the white car as if it's your token, by the way, Joey. Uh, I, I can I rotate it? I don't have rotate. Uh, yeah, you, when you click you on it, zoom. Oops, you have to zoom, and there is one little square that stands out from the rest. I'm gonna just turn it for you. Back. There you go. I know there's not one. Then uh, nothing happened. Yeah. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. You just drove to the side to the side of the building. And Is there a following right in that car's? Yeah, and Taco following right in the car's footsteps uh, manages the road with no problem. No explosions. You got to the building with no problems. All right, so I'm going over the top of the vehicle now. Okay. From the rear. So I'm not exposing new terrain to my feet. Okay. Actually, I don't even know why we're going in here because we know that he's not home. <laughs> well, you don't need this him. You, uh, you did. Uh, let me just remind you that you didn't come here to capture the puppeteer. You came here for proof oh, that right. the BBs have nothing to do with the explosion. Right, 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 right. Sorry. And I also told you that I left all the gear that you need on the roof. So. Yep. But if I go on the roof, I'm gonna get fried. No, on on the roof of the other building where to, where tomorrow was before. It's you, safe there. You don't know if there are mines in... that are on the on the floor or not. Well, I was sitting there, so. On the roof, but not yeah. on the ground. No. So we don't know if he's gonna come to the building. There might be a mine. They have a shaman and spirits. They, they do. can get it sorted. But they sorted it with cars. That works <laughs> that, too. That also works. Okay, so you got to the building with no problems and. Uh, uh, what are you doing? Are you approaching the door? And meanwhile, the elemental uh, gives you a, a bit of a return. Uh, what you are being surprised by is the fact that the elemental opens the manhole cover to get out of the sewers. And gets out oh. of the sewers and stands in front of you really sad and there is some glowy thing all over him. What are you doing? What is the glowy uh. thing? You don't know, it looks like small glowy orbs. Or like dust that's glowing. Oh, did you get covered in bacteria? The elemental just stands there without emotions or any uh, empathy, but you can kind of feel it being sad. Oh, let me cast Sterilize and get rid of that bacteria. Okay, go ahead. I'm casting Sterilize. Go ahead. I'm Guys? I'm moving a couple steps back. Okay. <laughs> Guys? What you doing? Um, hang hang out here, buddy. Alan dusts himself off and moves to where he's currently. Okay. I think I'm fine across the street. I don't know what. Okay. Tomorrow you way. cast. Uh, yeah, you cast steady lines, and nothing happened. So did he walk into something? Mm -hmm. You don't know. He can't tell you. Well, we have telepathic bond. Yeah, but he can't tell you. You, you get nothing from the telepathic bond. <gasps> Somebody blocked an elemental. Okay. I'm gonna switch to astral perception and like try to figure out what's happening. Roll a sensing. 
Can't I roll astral perception? Also works. Yeah, so you're looking at the elemental's aura and you can see that there seems to be small living creatures crawling on him, but they aren't bacteria or anything microscopic, they're more like bugs. Ew. Oh, Steven. They, they aren't actually harming him, they just crawl all over him, basically creating uh, like hundreds and tiny dots of dual natured aura on it that it can't cross in any way because they're crawling on it can i send him back to astra nope you're stuck with him until the, until like the next period of expiring because you can't command him that's awesome i need this thing guys well, what I'm are gonna you doing jump into sewers. okay guys what are you doing because uh, mac is nearly out of time are you entering the building yeah let's do this i'm gonna go uh uh walk up to it uh, and breach the door with my shotgun. Just shoot the lock off. Okay. You shot the you shot the lock. It's uh, really loud. Let me just enter you into the building. Oh, go me. ahead. Oh. There you go. You can like, put your token four, inside. You know, mines that have gone off here haven't been exactly quiet either. So yeah, your shotgun is quieter than the mines. Feel free to put your token inside the building. Then just pop. Alan. Ellen isn't exactly happy, so he's also going in. But instead of his taser, like he expected that he'd have, he goes in with a uh, with his actual. Physical. Okay. So inside the building, first thing you can see is uh, that there is uh, a bench, a chair, and uh, a three-day-o set that uh, has some comedy movie going on. There is uh, a left uh, a smell of soy cuff in the air. I feel like the comedy movie is like Three Stooges. Uh, the door, the door uh, to the south of Allen and Chewy is open. You can see an empty garage. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that what we're looking for is going to be towards the interior of the house. So uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, check the do uh, check doors and corners, and uh, proceed inward. Okay, roll perception. I will. I will do. Roll perception as well. I'm assuming home ground doesn't apply for. The no, it doesn't. It's uh, not your apartment. Never be there. Okay, Alan. You see nothing suspicious in the house. There is a brown carpet, and it looks like somebody has taken stuff off of the table. One of the chairs is just disturbed. Chewy, it looks completely normal for you. I'm gonna uh, uh, edge. Okay, edge away. That's your rerolling re dice on which you didn't have hits. So walking you inside, you can it. see uh, uh, abandoned soy cuff uh, kettle on the stove. It's still warm. And uh, Chewy, you can see that uh, there is uh, Contacts and plugs in the wall are basically being removed as if somebody and uh, there is a lot of uh, papers uh, Abandoned like cigarette packages and like some Little paper plate on the floor as if somebody just grabbed their stuff and left in a hurry uh, how, how do I do re-roll this make it re-roll the sixes just roll uh, you have to use pre-edge to re-roll the sixes Post-edge mm -hmm. doesn't uh, doesn't give you a re-roll Okay. It gives you a reroll on the stuff where you didn't have any hits. Yep, and uh, tomorrow you can roll for your own perception. And yet, yeah, since uh, Mac is running out of time, I'm going to just tell you guys that uh, you found a computer in the office where the camera is clicking. And uh, it's on, but uh, it's in the process of doing something that you would have to basically roll computer to know what it's doing. Uh, good at computer. If uh, otherwise it's logic minus one. Yep. Chewie's got the... Uh, a second. Do you, do you tell the team something's going on in the computer? I, I have... 
Yeah, Alan, Alan I got a one. one person at a time, please. Alan, go first. Uh, I think we both just said the same thing. Okay, well, so they, they did reply to you that uh, there is something going on in the computer when you asked if there's something going on. And uh, Chewie, you have zero dice in the fouting on a computer, so you have no idea what it, what it's doing. There is some numbers moving on the screen. Uh, Taco, you are c uh, coming over to take a look, and you quickly see that it's uh, formatting itself. It's like thirty percent oh. in. Uh, with two hits, do I know I'm, if I'm plugging it? Well, mm, it is connected to the to the wall, so maybe. Yeah, I just like as soon as I realize what's going on, I yank out the power. Okay, Same and the computer shut itself down immediately when you take took the power away. Okay, and uh, uh, Jack, he was a... Excuse me. No, I'm just exclaiming, Jack. He was erasing. Okay. Hopefully, we saved important stuff. All right, and uh, tomorrow you are astrally looking you're able to follow like confused dual nature the bug is crawling on the floor that must have fallen off the elemental like but you're walking on if you turn off all the spares so it's go you're probably gonna be walking for a while because the sewers just go well i'm looking for trucks i mean you have breadcrumbs of dual nature bugs so True. okay guys what are you doing uh, I say we take what we get and get. Okay. We load the. I'm gonna look around for more physical evidence. Okay, roll perception. I think that we're gonna load the computer into probably the car and just get out of here before we get destroyed. Some. Yeah, that works. Oh. How did I? And uh, Chewy, you find that other than the empty garage, there is a, a smaller room on the other side of the kitchen that uh, looks like it had some heavy things inside. That's about the size of a couple of drone racks, but they are completely gone. And uh, you find that some of the papers that are on the floor are in an alphabet you don't know. Uh, so it may be a cipher or some other language, you're not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna throw those up and shove them in. Okay. I think I have a bonus to deciphering stuff because of analytical. Okay, do it then. That's your... Uh... I, I, I'm saying that we do it later because it'll probably take time. Okay, yeah, you can, but you, you can al analytical mind it to maybe determine if you've ever like seen anything like that with your four dice. Uh, it's a roll plus, I think. Yeah, you have four dice all together, including analytical mind. And I'm taking his freaking rug. Okay, you, <laughs> you can have the rug. And uh, Alan, you are pretty sure that this is Cyrillic alphabet on those papers. Uh, repeat. You are pretty sure that this is a Cyrillic alphabet on those papers. You don't know what it says, though. All right. I don't know how to say that, so I'm just going to relay that. Okay. It's, that, it's a Russian alphabet. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, that makes sense. With... Yeah, go on. That makes sense with the guy with the Russian accent. Anyway, Alan's just... get He's grabbed the computer and is bringing it out to... Okay, so you can pretty much leave with the car the same way you came in. And tomorrow, how long are you going to follow the sewer? You're starting to feel a little unsafe. No, like, real tracks? It's basically like water on the ground. It's just muddy water, so no tracks mm. are available in there. You can just follow the swimming bugs. Well, there's still concealment on me. Yeah. Because nobody noticed me. 
well, I'm going for silver, so if I don't find anything within like half an hour of sneaking through the sewers, then I'm gonna get back. Okay. You, uh, do you guys wait for tomorrow or are we going back? Yeah, well... You don't know where I went. You don't know where she went. Still gonna wait. And her comms on the roof. Yep. Alan is still minorly pissed off about. Oh yeah, I'm. 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 I want blood back. But yes, that that's not gonna happen. Well, you guys are basically in the open. I think all three of you have uh, ruined your concealment. So maybe I'll stick behind, see if she shows up, and you guys should. Yes. Yeah, Alan's all on board with that, especially since he wants to hit somebody. Oh, yeah. And what was he to keep? When we get back, I, I'm going to go find somebody that, that uh, w wants to engage in some and, and punch the crap. Yeah, the best like the best uh, recipe to start a fight in the Warrens is like go up to somebody and say, like, hey, want to start a fight? So you're not going to have that much of a problem with that. And uh, yeah, I think you can uh, take your car and... Uh, continue the blimp the blimp is still kind of lighting up your way so you can return the same way you came with no problems and uh, tomorrow eventually emerges from the sewers in a very good mood and all cheery and happy i bet so i think we can like call it a day for today i'm gonna send you guys karma and stuff the next time you deliver the computer to the bb's in the writing tomorrow or Well, Maybe actually, have I, I, Dash take a look over it so we know what we're. Yeah, we're giving it to Dash. Yeah, Dash, so. Dash deciphered a lot of stuff, so there is uh, not many information in the data banks because those got erased. But there are logs uh, from the Riggers remote uh, control module in the Jeep and the end in the drones that attack the shed. And also there is uh, a log from surveillance from uh, the terminal inside the shed. But yeah, any actual data uh, is like formatted itself. Yeah, the current data went first, but we have some older stuff showing what he may have done previously. So if, if nothing else, it is a proof uh, that the same person uh, was operating the drones and the jeep, and that uh, they also run surveillance on the shed. Huh. Well, it's something. We'll make it. It's a, uh... Is there any archive data there? Nope, formatted itself with the hard drive. But it, w it is going to be enough for a mistur to pay. I'll try and upsell it. Make sure they, uh, you know, they like what they. Okay. Oh, well, we can deal with that later. Yeah, we can deal with run. that in the right things because uh, the Mac has to run. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys for All thank right, you guys, guys for the game. Fun. Hope it was fun. You betcha. No problem. Absolutely. I'll try and uh, allocate a bit more time next time. Sorry. Yeah. No worries. And when when we try. When we try to get a better price, Alan will very piss off, pissed off. I wasn't aiming more for price, more for just happy acceptance instead of grudging. Oh. Yeah, negotiating a bigger know. price after already doing the job like, might not have worked. I, I, a little bit bad for him. So, how did you guys like the session? It was fun. Uh... I, I got a little frustrated in the middle, but you know, that that's okay. Do you guys remember when I told you there are mines? Yes. And that we are supposed <laughs> and that we are supposed to run surveillance first and then decide what we're doing, not just go to the front door over landmines. Like what was that? I don't know how I don't know how it How? Went so badly, because you so... went through the mines. I wasn't why did you even it... approach this house? I really thought my car could 
tank the mine. But that would make noise anyway. Why did the... I, there's something happened that... What? Caused us... I don't... No! I was setting up gear for surveillance and you decided to go and knock on the front doors. On a stealth mission. Oh, you know what it was? It's because we couldn't find the person. Uh... So... Mine. The, the first mine went off when, um... The cat jumped, tried to get onto no, the tree. No, that was the second. No, that's the second. Yeah, the first mine was, the the first mine oh, was yeah. when Taco drove the first a car into it. And the, th the third was a failed... We were supposed to leave the car behind and go under concealment quietly, quickly, do the sur digital surveillance trying to tap into signals from inside and maybe tap into some electronics and steal the data without anybody noticing us. Right. That was the plan. How did you go from plan A to plan everything fragged up? You, wanna, you guys want to see where the mines were? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Oh. Just let me uh, get I'm sorry. the camera back. But yeah, they were totally detectable with a, a good perception roll with a threshold of four, so it wasn't that easy. Let me get on the here. Threshold of four would need an average of... Yeah, I got that. Look. After several mines went off, my I was attempting to make sure no one's anymore. And then I failed an edge. And there is one more that uh, poop. There you go. And wow, the ones where you stepped that... on. Yeah, you, you stepped on a lot of mines. <laughs> Not as many as I. Awesome. Well, I'm going to run. Thanks, you folks. Yep, thanks. See you next nice. time. And uh, we're going to pick it up in writing. Yep. Sorry. Yeah, it Sorry was... for screwing up the plan. No, tomorrow. it's fine. Uh, Plans only last until they don't. Yeah, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Bad luck is the best. Bad luck is the best decision I've ever made. Yeah, but yeah, uh, tomorrow actually figured out that the blimp would, may have had something to do with the whole situation. Well, it obviously had. <laughs> this thing would get so destroyed if it didn't have a rigger behind it. And also with like. Attacking a rigger hideout, obviously every drone in vicinity is gonna get, is gonna be his eyes, like obviously. Well, he ran away, but you got his computer before he managed to format the entire thing. That's true. So yeah, th thanks guys. I'm gonna send you guys the uh, cash and the uh, karma tomorrow ish, and then we can pick it up in writing. Uh, the talk with Amy, and uh, I'm gonna think what's gonna what happen next with all the plot threads we have going and we are going to see uh, each other and voice in two weeks so thanks guys good night thanks. good night night and that is going to be a stop so plop